Hi guys, welcome to my quilting live. Today is Sunday, 28th of June, and today is the Sil Sunday. If you are new to my channel, subscribe down that way. Um, like my videos, share them, whatever. So today is double jelly roll race, as the description says. So get out two, two, two jelly rolls. That's right, two jelly rolls, double jelly roll race. There's two going into this one. So instead of it being lap size, it should be like twin eh, and with borders full. It should be pretty big. I'm hoping. Let's hope. And I'm also going to have a little fun with mine and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, just cause I don't want it to be in the order that the, um, jelly rolls came in and I haven't even opened this one. So I don't want it to be in the order that they came in. I kind of want to do my own thing cause there's a lot of black dark print in here like literally that much black dark print and it's not really it's more than half of dark print and half light so i'm going to mix mine around between the two and then i will um work on this so let's see who is joining we got kim june joe sonia gwen Teresa, and as you guys know i'm not well I'm going to push through because I promised I would do this and I needed a day to do it that nobody's here. Scott's at the store. The girls went home. So nobody's here to get in my way. Juki has been cleaned. If you're in the group and you saw Juki is like brand spanking new inside, like, and it's so quiet, so quiet. And I just love it. <laughs> I like it when it's freshly clean and it's going to get all dirty again because these jelly rolls just so happen to have pink edges so it's gonna make a mess but I'll have to clean it out again someday so yeah anyways let's see who else uh we got Maggie Rowena uh Sonia said I hope everyone's having a great night we got Linda Judy Aunt B, Diane Lisa Vicky so hi everybody that's joining and Teresa said she would join if you guys know Teresa McBrayer she would join um, she's usually here on Sundays as well but she just messaged me that she's not going to make it on probably not going to make it on because she's in the middle of moving as you guys know her husband passed away and so she's moving so it's a long move <laughs> so it's going to take her you know a while to get moved so good luck with that Teresa if you're watching this afterwards anyway um, let's see, we got Brenda here, BJ, everyone's saying hi. All right, so I have my screen on to the side, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I put the camera here for the sewing part, and then I'm just going to turn it so you guys can see the cutting, and you're going to see face-up cutting, because I don't know how else to do it, and you are on my rear-facing camera, so I have to watch the other screen, because I can't see anything on the screen. Um, hi, Mary. Hi, Sharon. How are you? I feel like poo poop, but I'm going to do this anyway because I promised and I really needed to do something other than sit in bed or in the pool. Like literally the last week and a half fish is nothing but bed pool, bed pool, bed pool over and over. That's all I've been doing. And I got some hand sewing done. I did hand sew my blocks and I got to 82 of them, but at 80, I laid them out so that I took a picture to share. Um, it's getting pretty big, but I think I'm going to go to 120 blocks. So I have 38 more blocks to hand sew. And then comes the chore of hand sewing them all together. <laughs> I'm going to sew them into rows and then sew the rows. So I don't know how to do that part yet. I know how to sew the rows. It's just as much thread. But I don't know how to you put long rows together because I'll have to keep... I'm not going to use one big, huge, 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 long piece of thread. So i got to figure that one out. I'll probably have to stop. And then tie it off and then get it, you know, load the thread again and start over. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, I'm new to it. So I'm enjoying myself for the last three months now since I've been sick and stuck in bed a lot. Um, the hand sewing thing is at least keeping me busy other than being in here, breathing in the dust and so on and so forth. So that's a, it's a positive plus. But I do have to do my projects and get things done. And, and I've been... I wanted to join Becca. You guys all know so Becca. I wanted to join her with her jelly roll race, but I wasn't feeling good. So I just moderated and that was it. So I was like, well, I'll just do a double <laughs> and I'll do it when I get a chance to do it live. So that's what I'm doing. Um, what else I say? More people saying hi to each other. Uh, hi, Tammy. All right. So 
I'm going to start by opening this jelly roll. And this is going to be a messy process, so I'm just going to open it like right here. These ribbons are so nice, but they say what they are. I'm going to keep it like this when I um, ribbon it. And I'm going to find the start of my darks like that. And that's going to be the start of my unrolling is the darks. So here is my jelly roll like that. And I'm going to lay this one over there because I'm going to pre-trim everything. All right, let's find the dark beginning again on this one, which is right there. No, that's white. Where did I start on that one? This way, right here. Okay. So I'm going to make sure my finger stays right here. And I'm going to pull this one apart too. This one doesn't have a rubber band on it, so it's just the tie from this wonderful ribbon. There we go. Lift it up. So like I said, when I showed you guys this in the beginning, what I was going to be using, it has diamonds and crystals all over it. Not something I would choose. Scott actually purchased it for me. So like, let me pull back some fabric so you can see. I mean, that one's pretty, yes, because it turns and it's flowery, but they're mostly like, like brooches and diamonds and I don't know, stuff you'd see on in the movies when they wear a big, huge brooch and it has like something weird on it that's what these remind me of so it's like diamonds and stuff but it'll make the perfect jelly roll well and look i just barely oh my goodness i'm just gonna shake it off right here on the table so you guys can see <laughs> just wait i'm gonna move the camera so you can see i'm gonna push this back <clears throat> let's shake this one off just tapping it you can like do this prior to opening them to like patting them down on the sides like this to get all that off. But this works just the same. All right. So I'm going to tip the camera down so you guys can see. Not only does it make this mess at first, but it will make this mess the whole entire time. Your clothes will be covered. Everything will be covered. Oops, I dropped the mic. Can you see all that? It is all over. It is everywhere. That is the disaster from jelly rolls that are pinked and layer cakes as well. Jelly rolls are actually worse than layer cakes, guys. <laughs> all right, so let's turn this now and face this way so you guys could see what I'm doing. And then I will sweep all that off in a second. I'll sweep the top part off the sewing machine because I just cleaned them. Mine's a him, not a her, my sewing machine. Has no name, it's just Juki. <laughs> I just call it Juki. I'm bring my trash can up here. You guys can't see, but I'm swiping all this into the garbage. All right. Oof, what a mess. Oof, blow the rest away. All right, let's see who else we have. Oh, Tracy, you did make it. I already told everyone that you were moving. <laughs> so she got to come in and say hi. Okay, uh, let's see. We have more come in since I saw. What did I, where did I end off at? Sharon. So we got Anne. Um, Leanne's here. And Leanne. Elizabeth's here. Ooh, from Ireland. Awesome. Let's see. I'm so glad you're not in bed. Hope this means you're feeling better. I'm not feeling better. I'm just out of bed. I have mustered all my energy into today. It's been saving it, mustering it up, and I'm going to do this. I didn't go in the pool today at all. I didn't do anything. I just decided we're going to do this. And I can't participate. No jelly rolls. That's okay. Uh, Sharon saying hi to Aunt B. Everyone saying hi. Okay. Hi, Vivian. Um, I said hi to June. Let's see, BJ said scraps into two point five inch strips and squares. Finally, awesome. I said hi to Teresa Shirley. Hi everyone. Really need this tonight. Just having a fabric flyer and always making me feel better. Oh, thank you. Well, we're just two peas in a pod. We all are because I feel like poo poo. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see, do, do, okay, do, I said hi. You guys are just talking, saying hi. I named my machine Big Red. Oh, how cool. Hi, June. Um, let's see. Hi, Gwen. I know it's so nervous. I'm going nuts, still pressing and wrapping fabric. All right. This is what I'm going to do here. Move these out of the way. I'm going to start by lining all my salvages because I'm going to pre-cut all my salvages off. Why? Because... I'll tell you, just pre-cut salvages. I want to make it easy on myself and pre-cut everything off. And I'm going to be cutting off on this side. So I might as well just stack everything this way. So I'm going to take all similars and stack them. I know this is a jelly roll race. So I am going to just show you guys what I'm going to do so that the color cascades through the quilt top equally, if that makes any sense. So these three are the same. And then these three will be the same from the top. So I'm going to use all my same colors. I'm just, oh, there's four on the one and three on the other. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, I'm still good. It doesn't matter. Better text messed it all up. All right. So all my sames are going to go together. I have a fresh blade so I can cut through many, many layers right now, which is good because it makes things easier for me. Some jelly rolls are just different, I guess. My goodness. And the line, sometimes I can't tell the line on jelly rolls, but here is a cut that actually says Maria Kalen. I don't know if there's more to the name, but this does this uh, jelly roll or line, this fabric line is Maria Kalen for Benertex. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, there's more right here. Kalinowski. So Maria Kalinowski is the designer for anybody that's curious. I never get a chance to tell you guys because on jelly rolls and stuff, you can't really tell. So what I'm going to do is just cut all these off in bulk, keeping all my groupings together. I know this seems so weird to do with a layer cake or I mean jelly roll race, but I'm doing it anyway. So those go together. Move it out of the way. Let's see. These are all the same. Every single one of these is the same. How many of these? Except four also. So all these are the same. Again, I'm just going to line them up, the salvages, and cut off all my salvages. And if I just got gypped a piece, or better not have it the same, there's four in this one and two in this one. So some of these have different colors. So they are not all equal. So I'm going to make sure that I make it all mostly equal the way everything blends nicely the color order was too much black some jelly rolls you can open for example i will give you an example hold on two seconds here is a jelly roll example of all the colors kind of blending into each other there might be a little too many of those but this jelly roll literally has all these blacks so you definitely want to mix everything up mix it all up i have other ones but just i would show for a better example but there's some that are really cascading in color it makes it so much easier to do this and i'm going to warn you guys all right now that if i don't see your comment remember to tag my name or have a moderator say something, um, which are the ones that are highlighted in blue. Uh, I don't know who is all here besides Teresa, Kim, and Teresa's gonna be leaving soon anyway. And Diane, who else is a moderator in right now? I think the other Teresa was in too. Oh, we got Becca is here too. Wow, you guys really, really went quick with this chat. Okay, there's um Sharon everyone's talking uh, BJ saying hi I'm trying to scroll through I probably won't get to all the comments but while I'm lining all this up and cutting all my salvages off I can try to get some all right I saw that I saw that I saw I said hi to Vivian let me just cut real quick and then I'll read some more Make a nice straight line. 
I know I did not close my blade, but it's out of my hand way. So all these colors are the same. I'm going to keep them together. This and this pile are the same. So this one was replaced with one yellow. One yellow out of this whole entire thing. That's going to somehow try to make it to the middle of my whole entire long, long, long strip. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I think I said the designer name. I got to that. Um, da -da 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 -da. When Scott gets back, he'll probably help me with the comments, which will be easier. Hi, Dwana. Um, Tammy was going to ask if you knew. Okay, that was the question. 54. Oh, 54 people. Okay, so you guys, if you see anybody that's got blue and you need to say something, say it to them and or highlight my name by typing at Tiffany's Quilting Life. Can't, why does this say canvas? So this lady was for Canvas Studios by Benertex. There's the rest of it because this says canvas. So it was Maria, whatever, Kowalski, whatever I said it was. The line is Rock Gems for Canvas Studios by Benertex. I, did, I thought Canvas Studios was its own thing, but that's what it says. So if you're curious what line it is, that's what this says, at least from what I'm reading off of all these little pieces. So I guess that works. I'm just going to cut all these off. Put all these colors together, make it so much easier to put everything together. Um, here, but at the ironing table, I'm listening. Okay. And then also, I have a surprise for those of you who have embroidery machines. I know it's not much of a giveaway, but I decided to do a giveaway today. So it's not much of a giveaway, but it's something. And there's three chances to win for three people who have the capabilities of certain embroidery machines because, and I'll tell you how I came to this. I was cleaning up, this is gonna be my like middle piece, I think, when I get to it. I was cleaning up and I realized that I had somehow, some way in my patterns, I had, um, cause I was dusting my room. Uh, cause it just, it's really bad in here. I haven't been in here in so long. And I was um, going through my pattern pa paper page, blah, 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 can't say it. And I have some embroidery patterns, three of them to be exact for embroidery machines. So those of you with embroidery machines actually have the chance to win. Those of you who don't have it or maybe want to win it just to, for someone you know with an embroidery machine, maybe, um, you'll have a chance to win as well. But um, there's three chances to win because there's three different things. They're totally different. So if it fits your machine, I don't know what embroidery machines use what. So you'll have to determine that when I show you guys what the giveaway is. When I, it'll probably be when I take a break that I'll do that. Or when Scott gets back. All right, I'm going to keep all these ones together. Uh-oh, looks like I'm starting to get to things that are not the same. So this one has um, these. This one has, okay, hold on. I'm going to separate these now. These are colorful ones. These are colorful ones. These are gems. This almost looks like candy too. Like those uh, lozenges you can suck on <laughs> uh, for like sore throats and stuff. Oh, see, this one has a totally different order as well. Look at that. They are not the same. Remember when you buy jelly rolls that not all jelly rolls are made the same, guys. It's so weird. So, like, all these are totally different. All right. This is different. I guess I'll be equally spreading all this stuff out. This is the same as that, so that got messed up. This is all the same. And this is all the same. Ooh, look at that. Big jewels. So this was probably a really, really pretty print because they're so big. These were probably big, huge plate-sized circles. 
and it just gets all cut up. It's the only thing I don't like about Jelly Rolls. You miss some of the really cool stuff when they get completely cut up like this. All right. Relined up. Yep, it's still all the same name though on everything, so it's the same designer. Just they didn't put the same stuff in each jelly roll. But it's still two jelly rolls worth, and that's all that counts. And I think they were 42 piece. Oh my goodness, I didn't even look. I'm gonna look at that real quick. I'm pretty sure it's 42 piece. Usually Benner Texas is 42. Yep, 42 strips. No, 42, 40, 42 inch strips. Okay, there's only 40 here. There goes my math. I did the math earlier on how big it might end up. But that's okay. Um, gotta go back up. Okay, where were we? Sharon is here making binding for a quilt. You know, 40 jelly roll strips times two, that's 80 jelly roll strips, is enough to bind, to bind. If you needed to bind, say, eight to 10 large quilts, like with 10 roll, you know, 10 strips, each, you can get eight to 10 quilts bound out of all these jelly roll strips. That's a lot of binding. If you make it, you know, for that. <laughs> oh. A lot of binding. That would be a lot of work. Because then you'd have to press it all in half and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, hi, Diane. Um, I'm grabbing from the wrong pile here. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, it's Brandon on there. Hi, Brandon. Um, hi, Ray. Everyone's saying hi to Brandon. How are you, Brandon? You over at Grandma's house? All right. So again, for those that are just joining, I am um, just lining up my jelly rolls and cutting the salvage off first because that's I want my salvages off to make it easier to do this whole entire thing but I have to line them up sometimes they're not equal at the ends because you know jelly rolls are just see I want them equal so I kind of just slide them over with my fingers make them equal so that I can cut this and then as soon as I'm done with this part that's where the race will begin so I hope whoever's joining and doing this with me tonight, you are trimming all these off to make, it's gonna make this next step so much easier with all this already trimmed off. Just put it that way, cause you'll see, this makes it easier. <clears throat> well, at least for me, I don't know about everybody, but for me it does. And we're really gonna race. Well, I am, you guys can be as slow as you want. I'm only going to race because I want to see how long it actually takes my my butt to do this kind of stuff when I'm not feeling good. Because you guys know I can make a quilt really darn quick on a normal day basis. I'm a little bit behind and a lot are on the slower side, which is not typical for me, but oh well. This is sure a lot of gems. Could you imagine in real life what something like these would look like in person it'd be so shiny and sparkly and just it would like be gleaming off of everything the essence of essence of diamonds and rubies just going everywhere gleaming i'm kind of just stacking them out of the way now and then i will put them in an order because some have a lot of pieces and some don't. Some only have a certain amount. So I'm just going to add to whatever for darks and lights. We're going to see how many of each I have and then make it simple that way. Because these I have a lot. Some of these have a little bit. <clears throat> um. 
I just used some bias strips that are pre-made from Mother Adrian. Best thing since pre-wound bobbins. Hi, Lisa. Uh, yes, I'm good. So you're at Grandma's house. Where am I at? Um, is it dusty over there? Oh my gosh, guys. You guys may have dust too. We have dust too right now. It is so windy outside and dusty. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> hold on. Give me a second. <clears throat> it is windy and dusty so bad out there. You cannot see the mountains around us. You cannot see the lake. You cannot see the neighbor's house because there's so much dust in the air that it's pointless to go outside. And it's dark and, and gloomy. Like there's lots of clouds, but there really isn't. It's like a, um, it's like a, a slight spray of clouds. Nothing dark. That's just a, I forgot the names of clouds over these years. I'm like they're not cirrus. Cirrus are full. Cumulus are full. I'm trying to think of the name of it. They're one of those and yeah, they're not really full clouds. They're just spray painted slightly on the sky. <laughs> so, but yeah, the dust is absolutely horrible, horrible out there. I do not want to go outside. That's another reason why I didn't go in the pool today. Other than conserving energy, it is disgusting outside. <clears throat> um, hi, Linda. Machine could use pre worn bobbins. You know, my Juki probably could. It uses the metal bobbins, so and I don't know if you buy pre worn metal bobbins. And my little machine will use the ones that I got from um, Creative Notions, but I haven't used them yet because I don't really use the little brother machine very often. Although that video that I did on the brother machine is. A sloppy video because CJ was my cameraman, but it, it was straight to the point at least. And yeah, it really gets comments on a daily basis. Like everybody's buying the Brother SQ9285 during this uh, wonderful season of mask making. It's become quite the machine. And since Brother didn't actually ever have a video on it, I'm the only video on there. So everybody wants to know how to use the machine and they watch my video. One of these days, I can actually make better videos of the machine. All right, here we go. Let's line these up now into specialty piles. I'm done cutting. All right, so here's my darks. There's lots and lots of darks. And I want to spread them out as best as possible. I also don't want all the darks that are like this next to each other, if that makes any sense. So I think there's like eight of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of those. Woohoo! One, two, three, four of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. What the hey? One, two, three of those. This is a weird, odd number. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. My goodness, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a weird number between two packs. They really did a number on messing all this up. Somehow, some way, this will be in the middle. So. I'm going to do, there's not very many lights, so I'm going to be mixing the darks nicely. I'm going to turn everything this way so you can see, because I'm going to grab from above me. You guys will watch how I do this because I'll turn the camera back around. I'm going to grab from above me. Oops. This and this are not the same. So I got color in between. This one here instead. This one here. This one is pretty light. We'll put this one here. And we'll go until we run out, kind of thing. That one's a heavy one. Let's put this brown right there because there's not as many of those. 
So this will be my order and we'll go until they run out. And there's only a few of which where somehow when I get to the middle, which will probably land around this area, I will add this guy in somewhere in there because it's the only yellow. So I'm just going to grab from the piles and sew. So I'm going to turn the camera back around. I'm in Lake Havasu. Hi, Kathleen. Um, just left Joanne. Her name's again wrong. Info from the personal lane. I have no idea what that meant. It's just sprinkling in Iowa. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera back over to the sewing machine. You guys can see my wonderful piles. So those are my piles I'm just going to grab from. Some have nine, some have ten. Oh, that's so retarded. And now I'm going to zoom into the sewing machine so you can see what we're doing. Is that good? I hope that's good. Right there. Perfect. Some people have rain, some people have dust. Two, June's here, Linda's here, and a little bit. That's why I come on the blue sky. Um, in Arizona. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with a dark one. And before I do 100% anything, and I know you guys can see right here, before I do anything, I am going to start by cutting 10 inches off of it. Why 10? I don't know, because it's just a random number and it sounds good to me. We need the, the start piece to be shorter than the rest. Plus 10 inch strips go in my waist basket very well. So we're gonna leave these up here. Okay, we're gonna take one dark and then I'm gonna grab a light and I'm going to be blending these as best as I can. And when I get to 40 strips, hopefully I can count. Um, then I will, uh, is it out of focus? It better not be out of focus. Um, hi, Doris. That's from the Sahara. Sam said, made it southern U.S. all clear in the great white north. All right. I am doing mine on the 45 degree angle. So as you can see, we're going to lay it like this, and this is why I trimmed off the selvage so I have nothing laying over. I'm going to lay this edge and this edge up. I'm going to line them up. And it's best if you have tape or a line. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a pen line. It kind of goes beyond here. There's a pen line under my tape right at that edge. I put the tape here so that you guys can see better and then that this process can go faster. Following this line... We are going to tip this sideways, and I'll say this like the first four or five, and then I'm just going to go for it, and over and over and over again, and then we'll chat, and I'll put the camera back so that you can see me. I'm going to start right here in this top corner, so this is facing up, this is facing down, right here, and I'm going to follow this bottom piece. See how that is right here on my line? That's what I'm aiming for, that piece down there at the bottom. So I'm not going to move it, adjust it, or anything. And my machine sounds 100% different because it is super, uh, super duper clean. So now I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to right side it up. And I'm going to grab another piece. So we're going to grab this one. And I'm going to put this one right sides together on here, just like this. Lining up the top, lining up the side. A lot of you know how to do this. That's why I'm not really worried about um, if I miss something. I'm going to line this bottom one up right here on my line. Make sure everything's nice and straight. And sew down it. And my stitch length, if anybody's curious, I'm using like 2.1. So I'm not really paying attention to my stitch length, honestly. Um, it's, it's small. I don't really use a big one. So here's another piece. We're going to put this right sides together. I'm going to line up the top where I cut my selvage off and my side right here. And this is to keep me from having to cut away um, any uh, dog ears as well. So that's why I pre-cut off all my selvages. So there's 
no dog ears to cut off. And I don't know how long this bobbin will last, but we're hoping that it'll last a while. So I'm gonna grab another one, lay it on here, right sides together. See, lining the top, lining this side, turning it sideways. And we're gonna go straight across, all the way down to that bottom. Bring this next one back up, right side up. Now, if you wanted to, you could, if you wanted, and this looks weird because I'm putting a black next to a black, but this is a darker color. Um, if you wanted, you can hook yours together like this. If that be the case, there's a totally different way to do these when you do it this way. Remember how I showed you guys how I do my stack piecing? So I have a whole, we're going to pretend for just a second while you're close up. When I have a whole stack like this, I pull the bottom out and I take the next two. I know you can see this. Those are right sides together. Sew them through. Take the next two because they are right sides together. Sew them through. So you would be creating a long chain of all the ones you want. So if you're doing yours on the straight right here where you cut off your selvage and you're sewing your straight instead of on the diagonal like me, this is the fastest, fa I mean, this takes away more time than me sewing on the diagonal like this. If you stack your jelly rolls up, take in the order that you want, take that bottom piece away like that. Every two should be right sides together all the way up. Just hold one pile of it in one hand, the other one holds the machine and nothing should get out of order. And by the time you get to the top, you'll have one piece left, which will be right side up. So you guys have seen that in many, many, many of my videos, but I'm doing this on the diagonal, but I really tell you if you do it on the straight, that that's how it's done to go really fast. I mean, it is 100% time saver. Um, and if I have to do another jelly roll race, that way I can show you guys, because it is really, really, really quick. But I chose to go this direction on the diagonal today with a, the extra step of having to trim everything. All right, so I'm gonna grab another piece. Again, right sides together. Not that I have to make sure, but yeah. So I'm gonna line this up right here, creating a square, my 90 degree angle, start it, make sure that this is on the line. From my side, my view, you can see it on the line. As long as that piece is nice and straight and you have a 90 degree angle perfectly lined up, you can see that bottom piece. If you need to hold it up until you get close to it, that, that is perfectly okay. As long as you're aiming towards that corner. So from now on, since you guys know what I'm doing here, I'm going to zoom back out so you can see me at the same time. And just watch me sew because technically I am now in a race with myself and you guys all at the same time. <laughs> Whoever's doing this with me, we're, we're racing. That way I can look at the camera too. I feel so weird when I, when it's facing something other than my face. It makes me, I don't know. I don't know why I feel weird about that. So I'm going to grab one, sew it, grab them, sew them. So shouldn't be too hard. We'll get it all done. And if you want to make the whole process even faster, you can go back to the beginning where you started, which is right here. Okay. You can go, and I'm not going to be using a rotary cutter today. You can go and cut a quarter inch away from, it's probably not a quarter inch, but oh well, you can cut a quarter inch away. That way it is already ready. And then snip it. And then you grab the next one. So you can cut these and then sew some more, cut these and then sew some more. Do the whole entire thing if you want. So, so that's what I can do. You can do it. I'm not going to be using a rotary cutter this time. I'm just going to use scissors. So I'm just going to put the pile right next to me. Make sure you're only cutting away those back two pieces because, yeah. So you can do this wow. And that way you get up as close as you can without yanking because, yeah, you don't want to yank anything. So that's as close as I'm going to get. And then I'll stick these aside because I'm going to use all those. You know why? Because I always get a nice secondary 
projects. So I'm just going to throw all those on the floor, though, because I don't really want them getting mixed with all this. All right. So here we go. That's sewn on. Let's grab this. Let's go to the next. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Let's, let's do it. And if you started already and you're working with me, let me know. I want to know who's doing this today. And if you're going to try to race me. <laughs> I know a lot of you have done the jelly roll. It's not, it's not that bad. And if you hear doors slamming and stuff, it's because Scott just got back from the grocery store, it sounds like. So this is why I had my scissors. I needed to kept my scissors up here with me. And I don't know if I'm at 40 yet, but I think I'm going to count in about, I don't know, a few more pieces where I'm at so I know, but I doubt I'm anywhere close to 40. Because I want that yellow to be exactly in the middle. <laughs> so I'm going to again come up and I'm going to find a lighter color. They're not going to be completely in order every time. Because there's way more darks than lights. On mine at least. But we I want my color to cascade through equally. And that's what it shall do. And I'll look at comments as soon as I can. Anybody have any questions on the way to do it? Like I said, the stacking way, sewing straight seams is way easier. So much faster too, way faster. Cause you just have that stack like literally at your lap the whole time in your hand. And I just flip it right up like this. So I just, I'm sewing just like I would any other, um, when you do um, binding, you know? It's pretty much the same as sewing binding. Actually, I'll look at comments when I'm doing the cutting. That'll probably be even easier. Every time I get to a step where I have enough to cut. I'm just going to throw all my little triangles on the floor, make a mess, so CJ can clean them up later. <laughs> and I shouldn't have to leave my seat this whole time either, honestly. I should be able to sit right here the whole entire time, since I cut, you know. Because everything is comes together. Probably went far enough. Let's see. Where am I at? So those are already cut. Let's throw those right next to me. Let's start cutting these. Oh my god. Okay. This is really, really far. Really far. Okay. I said hi to Doris, I think, was the last one. Okay. And then Diane Mitchell. Southern great. Oh, nice. Okay, I saw that. We got Linda. Hi, I saw you a couple times in the last two days. Yeah, because I've been on everybody else's chats. I've been in bed. so Or in the pool, because technically I was in the pool while the tease chat the other day. Um, where are you saying hi? You guys are talking about thing. Carla. Um, So I'm just going to cut these and try to read comments. Um, I'm cutting a quarter inch away or as best as I can because unfortunately I'm using scissors. If I was using my rotary blade, it would be a perfect quarter inch each time, but that's okay. I don't mind. As long as you have more than an eighth of an inch of seam, <laughs> you should be good, you know? As long as there's more than that, you should be, should be okay. But you don't really want to have less than a quarter inch because more than is fine, but less than is not really. You want to be able to have something to grab onto when you're quilting to hold that seam to keep it from ripping apart is what you want because the, the smaller the seam allowance, the more chances you have of your quilt falling apart 
when it goes through the wash. And I have learned my lesson with that because I didn't know any better when I first started quilting. So now that I know all these things, I'm like, yeah, you make sure you have more than, you know, it could be less than, but not more than an eighth of an inch less because that's just too tiny of a seam. I mean, they're beautiful. All right. All right. Did you put everything away? Yeah. Why do you need something? Can you be my comment reader? Of course. I'm right here where it's Kim's talking about the Sierra Desert. And is Scott you doesn't. Hold this over here? Yeah, he can just sit over there and read. Scott doesn't know your guys' names when he says he says your first names, but he doesn't know your um, names if your screen name is not a real uh, person name. <laughs> if it's just a does, screen name. So the if he says stuff like so and so said this, then it's because he doesn't know. All right, so let's grab this piece and come back up. It's East Texas, my asthma is kicking my butt. Oh, yeah, people with asthma right now, even where I am, and it's dry desert with all this wind, it's horrible. Asthma. Charlotte has asthma. Is it Charlotte? It's Charla. C H A R L A. It's Charla. Oh, Charla. Okay. I guess. Um, You don't have to say last names, remember? I told you. I only say yeah, well, I'm sorry if I can't do good on that first name. I don't want to screw it all up. <laughs> oh, I think he says she don't think the dust will make it up there. Isn't it nice to have him home to read the comments, guys? And actually, while he's here, I can start one part one of one piece of the giveaway. Can so. If he can get himself caught up on the comments, um, we'll let the comments die down for a minute so I can show you guys what I'm giving away. And I'm not sure what machines, like I said, my giveaway today for those that are just joining, there's three embroidery machine patterns. They were in my stuff and I don't know how they got there. So, um, they were probably in stuff that I got donated to me or something. I don't know. It, it was in my stuff. So um, since I don't have an embroidery machine and probably never will, and if I ever do, it's pointless because they'd be sitting for way too long. And by then it's going to be so upgraded that <laughs> I won't need it. They're saying but... I would never try to race you. Steve. Hey, I'm not going that fast. I'm chit-chatting at the same time, guys. And I'm also going back to go up real quick and count how many pieces I'm at. And then I'll show you part one piece of the giveaway before I get to anything else. Let's find the beginning of this so I can see how many pieces I've sewn because when I get to 40, I'm putting that yellow piece as number 40. So that way it ends up exactly in the middle. So we have one, Anyone two, have three, 91, 37, four, harmony, 300. five, six, seven, eight. She cannot find the nine, tutorial on YouTube. Bobbins fill ten, and bobbin case. 11. 12. Do you have any idea that's Nope. Okay. 13. Sorry, Elizabeth. 14, can't help you. 15. 16. What are we at? 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. Yeah, 24. Not 25. 26. 27. So I'm at 27. 30, and then 10. So three more and then 10 more after that. And then that'll go in. All right, so number one, I have this. So this is for those of you who have embroidery machines or want to gift someone a gift for, that has an embroidery machine or whatever. So this is That's So Connie Presents My Mom and Friends 16 Embroidery Designs for the 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter hoop plus a bonus combined large package 50, 150 millimeter hoop. Bonus directions for four projects, PowerPoint on how to embroider appliques, and it's a breast cancer awareness. Um, this would be great for somebody if you want to do stuff for people, someone who's had or has breast cancer or just to send in support stuff. It's, okay, now this is the embroidery machine part that I don't understand. PDF files include three projects, how to embroider on sweaters, and then it has embroidery designs, including in the following six formats. Now, listen here. If you know your formats of your machine, you got to know this. So if you want to enter this giveaway for this one, these are your formats. ART 4.0. We got DST, HUS, JEF, PES, PW, 
VIP, VP3, and XXX. It is a little compact disc that's in here, and it's from 2008, and it's My Mom and Friends, and it's the Breast Cancer Awareness Embroidery. If you want to enter this and you have those formats of your machine, please type in number one. And okay. Scott will draw the winner by in front of you, closing his eyes and putting his finger on a name. We're not even writing okay. everything down. We're going to do it as fair as possible. Real quick, for those of us that are slow, what do you mean by format? Oh, the format is whatever the computer takes to put the disc in the... I don't know how it works with embroidery machines. I know you stick your disc in to your computer, and then you put it on that format, and then you put it into a little card thing that reads... That, and you take the card out, it downloads onto right. a card, and you put it in, you plug it into your embroidery machine, and bam, it's on your embroidery machine. Well, only so, three people have hit one, so, so I was wondering maybe they I'm going to give it a few minutes. Again, I'll read it again. This, for the embroidery part, the, the formats for this, if your embroidery machine does, Where, where's your, ART 4.0, DST, HUS, JEF, PES, SEW, VIP, and VP3, and XXX. Okay. Give me a, a pen Oops. piece of paper. This is number one. Enter number down. one. And Scott's going to write your names down, I guess, and do it that way. Well, there's, there's only three <laughs> there's only so a few far, people. but if and we're this, waiting a while, I don't want If you're out of the country, it don't off. matter on this because this is not a big package. So it, this is a I don't care where you live giveaway. As long as you have an embroidery machine and you put these to good use because I... Don't know what to do with them, so because I don't have an embroidery machine. So that's giveaway number one. So Scott's going to write down anybody that says okay. number one in the chat, and in a little while we'll give, we'll draw for this number one. So far we have Pamela, Carol, and, and then Melinda we have more. C. So I'm going to sew some more while he writes, and then we'll draw again. So I need to sew on three more, and then ten more. That way I have an equal amount. Hi, everybody. They're all saying hi. To you. Oh, okay. Hi. Scott's saying hi back. You guys can hear him because I have the mic connected. To okay, my... what do you do to change your stitch length for rag quilts? For rag quilts? What do you mean? What do I do to change my stitch length? That's what the question is. I what haven't made a rag quilt. Change? Kim just made a rag quilt. Kim, can you put your suggestion what? in there, please? It says, what do you change your stitch length to? For rag quilts. Not how yeah, I would probably do a 2.5 on a rag quilt, honestly. Or maybe, no, I would do 2.1 because you're looking at those, you're snipping away next to those seams. So I would probably do like a 2.1, 2.2, depending on if you're computerized sewing machine or not. Okay, Pamela, I'm crossing you off. You don't want to be on it no more? Okay. I want you on another one then. So we have two more after this. I'm not going to do them all at once. I'm going to do them a little bit at a time so it's easy. I got, I got a huge little deep cross. It's just for those who have those formats. And I guess Scott can hold it up again if you want in front of the camera. Give me a second. I'm writing the last person. Another person came on. One, one dropped out. Another one came on. Now I'll hold it up. Where do you put it? Right there. Just take the number one off, hold the front, and then back. And hopefully you're holding it clearly. Watch yourself on the camera. So well, they it's hard. See. I put the camera over here. Yeah, so hold it in front so that they can see what it is. Turn it to the back so they can read the files, the kind of files that it uses. This is three, and then ten more. We'll make. I will mail this out tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow's whoever, our day off, so it. I'm pretty sure it will be mailed out tomorrow to whoever. All right, ten more. Can they read the file file types? I hope so. Okay. It looks like it from your phone here. My hand would quit shaking and moving. <laughs> oh, one left of those. We're gonna scatter that through. Let's do two. Okay, there. So far, they're all talking about the rag. Okay. So only three of you want to enter this: Carol, Melinda, and Little D Cross. So well. All right. That's fine. I wasn't expecting everybody to have this the kind of whatever for these get for 
these embroidery things, but Scott's gonna write them down. Makes it easier. Yeah, I wrote them down. I'm gonna twirl them around. We'll the draw them out of something one. in front of you. Yeah. Scott will do it this time instead of me. So this is number four. I'm counting to ten so I can put my yellow in. <laughs> Two. Okay, before I draw this, only two people are interested. Melinda and Little D Cross. You sure? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, well, there's only two. I'm going to close my eyes and twirl them around. And... <laughs> He's going to draw the winner now, right right over here. You can't see him doing it, but I'm watching him. He's got his eyes closed and spinning him. <laughs> Throw one down on I'm, the table. I'm just, I got two names. I'm just trying to twirl them around and drop them. And... <laughs> I'll tell you right hand or left. <laughs> okay, pick it up. Hold on, I have to, I have to get him over here. He's being silly about it, guys. All right, who's the okay. winner? Melinda. Melinda, you're the winner. All right, put that with that. Uh, Melinda, email me your address. My email is in the description below. Melinda C. If you change your mind, please let me know. We have one of the... <laughs> Melinda C. All right. So put it with it and oh, just yeah. email me, like he said, like I yeah. said, to the winner. Email me on that one because there'll be three people for this I'm gonna go whole get giveaway paper. thing. I'm gonna get that. Okay. Get He's going to get some better paper. And I'm going to cut some more. See where I am. I'm really going slow here, guys. This is like really, really slow. All right, so those are cut apart. These are not. I'm at seven. I gotta remember the number seven because that's how many I'm at. Seven. Okay, Before my Before I love. get to my yellow. Linda said thank you. You're welcome. Just email me your address so I can send it. Oh, poor man, son. She's taking care of her little sister. Oh, that would be Brandon. Brandon is on Sandy's right now. Brandon's oh. using Sandy's thing. Oh, okay. So that's not Sandy? Yeah, it's Brandon, her grandson. Okay. Well, that's fine. He can take care of his little sister, too. That's nice of him. Yes, it is. Uh, She's a cutie, too. So, how many of you... I want to know how many of you are actually making this double jelly roll race with me. I know you're probably not as fast as me, racing me, but who, who all is making it? Who took out two jelly rolls and is making this? And then who uh, who's uh, sewing something different? I want to know who's mm -hmm. sewing something different. Next one. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Just let me cut all these first. Okay, I'm fine. I'm, just... I'm going to be here for a while. Once I get to the right. actual, once this process part is done, then the rest goes so quick, so quick, so okay. very quick. I was just getting you ready for the next one, for whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. What, are we, what do we got as comments? They're congratulating Melinda. They're saying that's wonderful, Brandon. I didn't know that was Brandon, so now I understand what they're talking about, and that's about it. Sonia left. They said goodnight to Sonia. Good night, Sonia. Earlier they were talking this is about be a, different size for the rag quilt. For those so of you the, that uh, are watching this now and later, this is going to be a long video probably because I'm not as fast as I normally am. This I'm I'm really on the slow side. And if I would have done straight seam, this would have been I probably would have been done with this whole stack by now. I'm really I'm really on the slow side. Diane's working on UFOs, quilting for the soul is hand sewing parasol ladies. Sarah, your par what's Sarah? Sarah, what is parasol ladies? Quilting for the soul is Sarah, by the way. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to get used to name. almost everybody's name. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to everybody's name. Brenda's sewing a friendship chain. Friendship She's chain. She's having so much fun. 
sounds like fun. I'm covered in uh, pink edges. That's so much fun too. Kathleen's still trying to get her machine to run a straight stitch on vinyl. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that I haven't sewn vinyl on this yet. So I don't know what's going to happen when I finally do. But I already told Scott he knows I've been eyeballing some vinyl between Hobby Lobby and Walmart for a while. Just to, I don't want to buy anything expensive to make my first thing with vinyl, just to make sure that I'm doing something accurate. I'm just okay, going to buy yeah. cheap stuff. Yeah, you know? Real question here. Why are you doing miter joints? Because well, I Sorry. think it creates a little bit more interest on the jelly roll race than a straight seam. Plus, if you really want it, this whole entire thing can bind like eight big, huge quilts. <laughs> but that would be funny. And if you're using two jelly rolls, one of a print select and one of a solid, just alter alternate print solid, print solid, print solid the whole way through. Don't forget to cut off that first like 10 inches though, because it will, um, again, add visual interest and flow throughout the quilt when it's put together. Deborah McCasson is making a patriotic quilt. You go, Deborah. I like patriotic. So is it for 4th of July? All right. I'm on, on number seven. I remembered the number, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's a miracle. Pamela can't sew. She needs a neck brace. She can't hold her head up. Oh, she has ALS. Oh, that's terrible. If that's the Pamela, I think there's more than one Pamela that comes on here, but um, if that's that Pamela, then yeah, she has ALS. <clears throat> Very terrible. Very scary. Yes. Quilting for the soul, she answered your question on what the, the parasol, whatever. She said there's a video on them. And checking it out. She said it's a vintage pattern. Hmm. That sounds cool. This one is nine. And then this will be piece ten. I don't have to worry about where my yellow is going to land. The rest can be just grab and sew. Yeah, so the, those that are curious, I'm doing the mitered seam for visual interest. And I'm not going to press anything either. I'm going to skip the pressing step. All right, my yellow is going in, the only one of its kind. It's so weird that they only put one yellow between two packs. They just threw it in there. Why couldn't they do it equal? If you're trying to make something like a pitcher and you want it to be correct, this jelly roll was not a correct jelly roll. All right. Let's keep going. Your fans are awful, like, nice. You all got, like, a community going here. Everybody's praying for Pamela and oh, yes. all worrying about it. That's Quilters really nice. are wonderful people, aren't we? We just that's, do everything for everybody. That's amazing. Well, we nowadays, are especially very, what's going on in the world, we have stuff like that. I mean, we are very... Soulful? That's the word. Soulful. Politics or anything. But heroic. Not nice out there. Lovely, kind people we are, aren't we? And we're also silly buttheads when we can be because our sewing machines will P-I-S-S -S us off and we just get into a mood. And if someone walks in, we're like, go away. <laughs> but notice Juki is running so amazingly because it's like brand new again. Oh, yeah, did you tell him you cleaned it today? Yeah, I shared it on uh, Facebook. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry. Yep. You didn't tell me that. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I had to go to my place sometimes. I thought I shared. I thought I said I made a tiny video. I forgot to take the pictures. I don't know. Before. Maybe you did. We were, I was it was, ask Scott, this thing was disgustingly filthy. Oh, yeah, my it God. It's bad. Sharon yeah. Parsons, she has a job taking care of uh, COVID patients. She must be a nurse or something in the hospital. She's doing this be... tonight to calm her nerves for tomorrow. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm helping. All right. While I am sewing, we're going to start giveaway number two. While see, the now they're chat... all thanking Sharon. See, people are nice. While the chat is calm, we're going to start giveaway I'm number two. I'm proud of you, people. I'm going to hold it up and tell you guys what it is. It's, again, another embroidery machine. 
So if you have an embroidery machine that'll have the following things I read, this one is for you. So this one's gonna be enter the number two is fancy ABCs. And this one's from Hope Yoder Incorporated. And I know that's a popular one for embroidery because I have a friend who all, that is on here that orders from Hope Yoder stuff all the time. So it's fancy ABCs. Fancy ABCs from 2007. It's embroidery designs in the following formats. A-R-T, H-U-S, J-E-F, P-E-S, S. V, VIP, VP3, and XXX. I'm going to hold it up close. It's got 26 fancy letters and for the 4x4 four four hoop, 5 fancy words for the 5x7 hoop, and here's the formats. Let's see how close I am. Is it good enough to read yet, Scott? Uh, I don't know yet on here. Oh, I can look on there. Sorry, yes, I can read it. Perfect. Those are the formats, so if you want... Embroidery design number two, please enter number two. Again, there is a disc in here. 26 fancy letters, five fancy words. Formats are A-R-T, H-U-S, J-E-F, P-E-S, S-H-V, V-I-P, V-P-3, X-X-X. Okay, Diane, so okay. far is our only one. Scott is writing down names. If he knows Diane. Okay, Vicky's jumped on this and Carol. So if you want it, enter number two. And for those watching this video after the fact, this giveaway will be over after the fact. This is just a while I'm sewing giveaway. Okay, the little DB cross is back on here. And Carol. Someone else here? No, not that I know of, but it's a weird sound. It sounds like someone's walking on the floor. Oh, uh, okay. I better not be anyone out there. <laughs> Stealing the groceries I just bought. Maybe it's um the cat wrestling bags or something. Oh, he could be the bags are out there. I didn't clean all that up because I didn't know you were going to need me right away. I just came in to say hi. I got all the frozen and fridge stuff put away. Okay, a lot of you guys want this, so slow down. I'm Again, down. giveaway number two. Fancy ABCs. Fancy ABCs. A-R-T, H-U-F, J-E-F, P-E-S, S-H-V, V-I-P, V-P-3, X-X-X. It's a Hope Yoder. Designs for four by fours and five by seven hoops, and there's the thingy ma bobbers, and it has five fancy words and the 26 alphabet. Scott's writing it all down, so it is an equal giveaway, and we will draw a name just like, yeah. Marcia Williams. Okay, I'm catching up. I'll read all the names before I draw them to make sure I have everyone. Well, I guess this one was a bigger hit, huh? Apparently. The other <laughs> one was... I felt bad. There's only two people. Well, that means you guys are all going to want the next one. <laughs> so. Okay, pull up art lights. I think I'm down at the end now. I'm like scribbling these up. I'm still sewing them together, and then I will cut some more and sew some more until they're all done. I already okay. surpassed my first jelly roll jelly roll work. So I'm just on my second jelly rolls worth now. Okay, I got Diane, little DB Cross, Carol Saunders, <laughs> Vicky Lemire, June Hansen, Deborah Burton. And again, Griffin. it doesn't matter where you live as long as you have an embroidery machine. Georgia. We will ship it anywhere. I'm not going to screw your last name up, so I'm not going to say it. Marcia <laughs> Williams. Lynn. Paula. 
Wow, this one must be really. Is that it? Is that popular. everyone? I'm going to read them all again. Man. Little D.B. Cross, Carol Saunders, Vicki Lemire, June Hansen, Deborah Burton, Linda Griffin, Georgia, Marcia Williams, Lynn, and Pamela Bartels. So, Pamela. Alrighty, Scott, what you can do. Anyone is... else? I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Tearing them apart, and we're going to mess them all up and pick a name. Make it nice and equal. He's tearing the little pieces of paper up. <laughs> it's a good thing we have scrap paper to waste. That was already garbage. Do you know how scissors are a cool cutter, huh, Tiffany? Paper scissors right here. Paper scissors right there. Bam. Thank you. <laughs> Should have asked. I would have given I'm it to teasing you. with you. Since <laughs> you have all your fans here. I was trying to write quick, and I have these names. They're all... We're doing it the old-fashioned way. Paper and pencil. Give it time. Give it time. Try and get your addresses in tonight. I will get them in the mail tomorrow. Anybody that wins, whoever the winner is, just email me and with your address, and Scott will put it in tomorrow's mail. Oh, I already put this one before that. I don't want that one. Let's put this one in. You're everywhere. Hi again. See you also. Okay, no one else entering? Okay, entering stop. Now. <laughs> okay, yep, it looks like. All right, while Scott is. Paul is asking that, what your email is while I switch it is around. Tiffany, under, with, Tiffany underscore Groff underscore quilting underscore designs at yahoo.com. It's in the description below. When you press that little button, dot that's under the screen there's a little arrow thing press that button it'll bring down a bunch of information all the links to all my stuff and my email is the first thing so just write it down from there because there's not a clickable link youtube doesn't allow clickable email link so um there's no link but you just write it down all right okay here's my big pile scotty has Fishing. a big pile he's mixing it all up mixing it all up closing his eyes which one, honey? That's right. right hand. Right. Okay. We got Vicky Lemire. Vicky Lemire, you are the winner. Wiener. Wiener. Chicken dinner. So, Vicky, you have won. Fancy ABCs. Uh, Hope Yoder Incorporated. All right. Amazed you, you actually got it. You were one of my torn off ones before I got the scissors. So. <laughs> Interesting that that actually made <laughs> Congratulations, Vicky. All right. While I am cutting these apart, let's see. Wait, everybody has to say. Everybody's congratulating Vicky at the moment. I'm going to go get another piece of paper because we went through that one pretty good. <laughs> I am actually throwing both piles on the floor now. I'm separating, cutting these, but I'm throwing everything on the floor <laughs> because I'm just going to be picking it up anyway. So both ends. CJ can clean on my little triangles later. So again, I'm just cutting a quarter inch away. I'm already on technically second jelly rolls worth of sewing. So this is right here at the yellow is the last that was one jelly rolls worth. So I mean, the sewing, even with my talking and screwing around is going pretty quick, I guess in a slow kind of way. So I'm hoping you all can keep up. And if you are sewing it, because I don't remember what Scott said, who's sewing it or not, um, or if he even answered those, um, whoever is sewing it, if you want to post your progress in the group, you can. Um, I'm not going to do group looking pictures right now because well, Scott's using the iPad and I'm busy. So um, I, I maybe help. when I get further down, if you want to share, let me know that you're sharing it and we'll pull up Facebook on the iPad and show you. I can help you because I can't if you need show you any here. other way. But if you haven't joined the group and you are new to my channel, the group is also in the description below. It is the first link under my email. It says join um, fellow quilters, uh, the Tiffany's Quilting Life um, Facebook group or whatever. It's community Facebook group. So if you're not yet joined and subscribed to my channel, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe down there that way to where my finger is pointing. That little red thing, click that bell. 
and then you'll get a um, notification thing that'll pop up and you can change if you want the bell to come on or not because i do do insomniac videos at random times you guys never know when those are going to happen they are never scheduled so if you don't want binging on your phone in the middle of the night then i would choose <laughs> to just get notifications however they have the options on there um so feel free to subscribe um don't forget to like be nice the likes actually help surprisingly sorry for all those who didn't win but we got one more coming up there's one more left there's three I'll, i'm gonna give it a little bit let me sew a little bit more and then we'll kathleen loves give your black that one fabrics away. with bright flowers and gems yeah i think the, i see gems anyway. yeah they are gems they are gems in the shape of flowers on some of these they're which, really which, really I'll, nice i'll show it up close is it this one well this one was a big print i think to begin with the one that you're thinking like with flowers is this, this they, to me, look they remind me of oh, this like one. brooches. Like you guys know what a brooch. You see um, people in movies. Like I don't know. Um, I said the fabric line in the beginning. I've already cut the selvages off, so I can't tell you again what it was. But it's a Benertex uh, something something. I forgot Karen something. No Maria Ke Kepler Keplerary. I don't remember. It was a long name. And if you ever watch my video this person that created this line i'm sorry i screwed up your name <laughs> i said it in the beginning i read it off so yeah that's who it's by some random person that i said in the beginning of the video <laughs> sorry i'm horrible I'm also sewing on the 45 for those that are joining. And I did show you how you can fastly do the straight angle, which is like super fast. You just stack them up and take away the bottom piece and every piece from there on should be right sides together. You just take two pieces from the bottom, sew them together, two pieces from the bottom, sew them together all the way to the top. It is so easy, so fast and gets the job done. All right, I don't have very many left to go, so let's get this done. All right. Right side up. Next we have, I'm trying to mix them up as best as possible. Let's get this one. And Scott's not here to read me comments if you guys are commenting, so, but I'm sewing anyway. When he comes back, he will. Honey chapstick. Sorry. I am talking way too much. I'm talking more than I'm sewing. I'm here. That's what us YouTubers have a problem with. Too much talking, not Linda's enough sewing. Linda's sending us out a package tomorrow from New York. Don't know how long it will take. Well, thank you, Linda. You don't oh, have to send you. us stuff, but thank you. We appreciate it. Scott checks the mail on Monday and sometimes during the week when... Um, we have when he goes to the post office because here in town the post office and the the library are right next to each other they're literally separated by a street that's it like you have to cross a street but that's it with a red light but, brenda has to leave to go to sleep she has to work in the a.m okay it's already uh, linda you said brenda brenda okay good night brenda Paula has you on her 65 inch TV. She says you're looking great. Good. Tiffy's in HD, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I don't know how well you guys can doing. see. Remember I told you my side effects. I have valley fever for those that are new to my channel. I also have MS. The combination is destroying my body. The medication I am on is like chemo. I'm going to come up close to the camera so you can see something. See my eye? My eyelashes are falling out. I have no eyelashes left. See that? There's only a couple there. Crazy, right? It's like chemo. So it's literally, I have chunks of hair missing out of my head. That's why it's in the ponytail. So you don't see the falling out hair. I have to sleep with it up, even though it gives me a headache. I've already told you guys that millions of times. I don't like my hair up. And also, it's if I don't put it up when I'm sleeping... Like my pillow is covered, covered in hair. So 
I don't know when it'll happen. It's probably going to happen soon. I was growing it to donate it, but there's not enough. I need 12 and a half inches and I don't have 12 and a half inches. Well, Jill says so you're still beautiful. I am definitely soon. You guys will probably see me with the most uh, craziest haircut you have ever seen. Because you guys know me with short hair. I always cut it short to my chin for the last couple of years. And then I let it grow and then I cut it. You guys even know I did a tutorial on how I cut my own hair. But um, this time I will take it to get cut. Take it. I will take myself to get my hair cut. When, it, when I'm ready. I'm, I'm, still not, I'm still not mentally ready to get rid of my hair. If that makes any sense. Because I've been Same. growing you're it for a long beautiful. time. You're beautiful. They but yeah, my eyelashes are falling out. And for like the last, I don't know, 25, 30 days, I notice it and I, and I never put two and two together, but I'm always doing this and there's eyelashes in my eyes and I'm like, I can't get it, can't get it. I finally get it out or I rinse it out in the sink. Little by little, that's why they're falling out and they're landing in my eye. What a, like seriously, my eyelashes now? What's next? Why can't it remove armpit hair? I mean, if I could just lose my armpit hair, <laughs> I would never have the same armpits again. Diana no. has a girlfriend who's fighting cancer and she lost all her hair, but not her sense of humor. Well, I'm losing mine and I still have a sense of humor. I feel like poo poo and I have a sense of humor. So prayers for your friend for keeping a good sense of humor. Or anybody that has cancer or any horrible disease that requires medicine like I'm on that is like chemo because that's what my medicine is is pretty much chemo the doctor already told me that and there's poor whoever Kim Kev M-R-T-A that's Mary oh well poor Mary had her car broken into so she had to leave what? she just got back I'm sorry Mary yeah. that sucks what did they steal anything or break did they just broke well, the car she said there's nothing in the car to steal so oh, okay well that's good. So the at heck least. with them, but yeah. I'm sorry. That They're sucks. asking her if it was in the garage and all that now. Yeah, we have garage here. I just read. Okay, like I'm on this little app thing. It's like Facebook, but for the community. You you can post pictures and and information that you know of things or whatever. Or ask for a handyman in the area. Or ask for who's the best pool service or you know it's something like that. Well, um, the last week now they've been posting in the area where I live in the little neighborhood it within the vicinity from a big street to a big street there's been garage break-ins and during the day it's not breaking into the garage it's actually going into people's garages who leave their garage door open and a really old lady was scared to death like not she wasn't dead but she was scared to death she walked out on the guy stealing her stuff out of her trunk of her car because she was just two seconds to take in groceries and come back out and the guy was just waiting he walked into her garage this, the whole police report thing was posted. The lady posted everything so that the neighborhood knew. And then another person posted, but the old lady one was the scary one. She said she wasn't even in the house for two seconds, you know, just to drop in one set of groceries, come out for the other. And her garage was broken into. She said by the time she got outside, she scared him and he ran off with all her groceries. Like, seriously, it's that bad. So in our area, if you live around me, I don't think I have any friends on here that live around me, but if you do, keep your garage doors closed, even when you're home, because somebody is poor and I guess just needs to steal everybody else's stuff. It's retarded, but yeah, I'm on that app and I saw that and I told Scott last night because we went to get gas and yeah, I was like, no, let's just close the garage door. <laughs> Honey, it's always something. Two, one. It's like three of those. I'm going to have to alternate these for a minute because there's not very many. I'm trying to alternate the last of them. Because remember, some had like 10, some had a different amount, nine. Let's put one of these. You know, years ago, we had a guy going up and down our streets before I met you that would go into people's cars that were open and steal stuff out. We all thought he was a local bum. Yeah. But uh, Martini got a bunch of tools and stuff. I never kept anything in the car. So he got a little bit of change. Hmm. One left of those. Let's scatter that out. 
Leah had scraptastic patchwork, shaved all her hair just because she had dyed her hair for 17 years and wanted to start fresh. Oh, I my daughter did that. I know what it is. But she's already dyed it. She went, she was, what was it, like a yellowish color two days ago? Yeah. And now it's black. It was a, I don't know, a Miss goldish, Maxine, burgundy, whatever. Who's probably not watching this because she's at work, but my daughter Maxine has dyed her hair. And again, oh, she wasn't at work. She left already. She was on a long break. I didn't see her when I got there or when I left. Oh. All right. I should now have enough to equally spread these out. I'm just equally spreading my pieces out, guys. And I'm going to cut the rest and then do the third giveaway. Reason why I'm taking my time is because Scott's actually over there reading the comments while eating. <laughs> I can take a break. No, it's fine. He's okay. Well, I over here. I don't I have, hear my chewing. I'm trying to overly. Cereal. I'm trying to stitch fast. But I guess my race is not very really racy at all today because <laughs> I think I'm on the slow side. But that's okay, okay, honey. You've been having a lot of issues. Take your time. I know. <laughs> Everybody understands. It's not very, uh, not very hard. I still don't remember who you said was doing this and who wasn't. I don't remember anymore. You want me to scroll back up to the top? Uh -huh. Well, you don't have to. Diane had uh, all her husband's tools were stolen out of his truck. By I know ago. that sucks, Diane. I'm sorry Her about that. Her house. I know. I saw when you said it at I think it was T's chat when you were talking about it. It's so crazy. And for all that are curious, um, when I say names of so and so's chats, I'm talking about. Um, T Quilts, which is T on uh, YouTube. It's called T Quilts, and she is wonderful. She's in Missouri. And then another one, like Becca, is so Becca. She's probably still here, just lurking in the background, unless it's bedtime. You guys should know and who they are. I know who they are. <laughs> we got so Becca. She's in Virginia. And then, or yeah, that's Virginia. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Virginia. I could be because you know I get things wrong, but and then we have um, Poor Man Sewing, which is Sandy. Uh, she's in North Carolina. She's also here on YouTube. Um, Sandy's been one of your followers for ever since you started, too. Yeah, I have a lot of you that's been here since I started when I didn't even have a hundred subscribers. <laughs> How many does it say is watching right now? Ninety-eight. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been going up since I've been over here. I have 98 people? Mm -hmm. What? That's the most I've ever had on yeah. a So Sunday. You were in the low 90s when I first wow. came in. Wow. Now you're almost out of Thank you guys for coming. I'm speechless. And I should be sewing. I'm speechless. Well, I am 100% glad that you guys are all here to hang out with me and Scott. He's just behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm always behind Although I could always screw with him and press the button that turns the camera facing him. <laughs> but all you guys would see is him eating a bowl of cereal. Nobody wants to watch me eat. <laughs> Let's get it, buddy. All right. That, my friends, was the last piece. So now I'm going to snip away my... And I'm going to let this all fall on my lap. And throw those on the floor. Actually, I'll need one pair of scissors. Debbie Williams says quilting for the soul too. Oh, and so we got Sarah with quilting for the soul. We got uh, she's got a channel, and then we have Teresa Louise. I quilt too. <laughs> she's here. She's a moderator. Um, we have who else is here? That's a channel. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I watch a lot of you that are channels as well. So you guys. If you want to say you're a channel, put a bunch of hearts like Becca does on her channel. I did that before once, too. If you are a YouTube channel, put a bunch of hearts so that everybody knows who you are and how to find you. 
and then yeah because i can't add links and stuff like that because scott has no idea how to do that <laughs> i'm mr no technology he's on he's using the ipad and he's just scrolling watching the comments he probably wouldn't even know how to exit this video <laughs> i can work on a car i can fix the sink it's funny not funny really it's it's cool whatever but i don't know how to use this fancy I technology i think your phone is dinging I can hook up a VCR, though, and a DVD player. You hear that? He can hook up a VCR. Yeah, I can hook two of them together. <laughs> Copy tapes. Blockbuster actually taught me how to do it. <laughs> so I could rent their tapes and copy them. Oh, so funny. We actually have a bunch of VHS. Who out there in my quilting friend world still has VHS? <laughs> oh, don't be shy. It's okay to own VHS still. And we have a lot. Like, I have all the DVD, or DVDs, uh, VHS, the Disney movies. That's why I said DVD, because I was thinking Disney. Um, I have all the Disney movies on VHS. Like, literally. I have boxes and boxes of them. There's a bunch in the house, the ones that the kids mainly watch in my bedroom. My bedroom is where the VCR is. It's not the best VCR in the world, but it works. It plays the movies, and that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gwen says I'm always eating cereal. <laughs> I ate cereal the other day. I had frosted mini wheats, but um, it's not very good for me to do that because I swole like I was nine months pregnant. And right now, having a big, huge swollen belly is not good because I, I'm like 111 pounds now and I look like a skeleton. That's why I decided to wear a bigger shirt today so you guys can't see how skinny I'm getting. It doesn't I show in my face. You. It shows in my body. If you don't believe me, ask Scott. I am super skinny right now. And I don't like it. I don't like to look like little Skeletor. It's just, I don't know. I was really, really skinny before I had kids. And I was not happy with my size. I wanted weight. And then I gained weight because I had kids. And I was like, this is better. And I've been in the 120s. I, I mean, I got really big at like 180 before. But I was in the 120s for super many years probably for the last like six years i've been 126 to 130 and bam bf valley fever okay she retarded. Still 200 vhs she, she kept about 10 she says it's the hardest thing she ever let go <laughs> jill had her watching uh, lost in space in the bedroom oh that's awesome yeah we have a vhs I, some people say oh that's so old but you know what they still work. And the kids take them out of the packages and throw them around and everything. And guess what? It's not getting ruined because it's a VHS. A DVD would get all scratched up. We don't let them play with DVDs, but they do grab the VHS all the time. They haven't pulled them out yet like I did when I was a kid, though. <laughs> Which would be bad, and I hope they don't do it. So I better not jinx it. And Scott left the room if you need to say anything. Um... When he comes back, though, I would like to know, does anybody have any questions at this point while I'm trimming off all my I'm here, I'm here. Um, pieces? I'm, here I'm just there. trimming them all. Now they're all sewn together. I have my only yellow in the complete middle of this whole entire project. I have one, one left. It looks like. So these are all cut off, and I'm going to look at how long it's taken me so far to do this and chat, as well as I'm going to... Um, make sure, okay, they're all off. I'm going to put one end up here. I'm going to find one end. I'm just going to lay it right here for a second. I'm going to reach down onto the floor because there's way too much to, um. Do you want me to pick that up for you? Oh just down? Here's two jelly rolls, guys. I'm going to be tangled. This is a lot, okay? So I'm finding the other end going to find this way but we'll see it might show up in me messing around okay so there's two jelly rolls yeah that's a lot um june wants to know if we're going to start timing now yeah as soon as i um find the other end and then do the last giveaway real quick did i start with a light or a dark does anybody remember <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i have to go through all this now all right so it's easiest, okay, here's a little secret. It's best to just keep it all on the floor. Let it all onto the floor. If you're doing it the way where the seams are straight seams, that is even easier to keep it all in order because once it lands up here, 
all you have to do while it's on your table in front of you from chain piecing the whole thing is use your snipper thingamabobber, your uh, cutter and or some snippers, snip them all apart, but leave them on the table. You know what I mean? In front of you and nothing will be twisted and out of order. So now I have to go through literally right now 80 pieces to find my end because I threw it all on the floor, but it is nice for it to be on the floor. It's kind of tangled, but kind of not. It's not that bad. Thank you, Linda. Linda pointed out you have over 100 people watching. She said 102, but now it's 104. What? Yeah. You're welcome, Diana. I do my best. You guys make me so happy. That is, you guys are hitting my firsts. I've never had that many people ever, ever, ever. I mean, I have a th almost 2,000 subscribers, but I have never, 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 never had. And Jill wants um, to know our, our secret of where we order your blades from, or should she go to Hobby Lobby or Joanne's? Because uh, you're no, going to pay 10 times more money at Hobby Lobby and Joanne's. Hold on, so I'll tell you right now. We, we have a secret. <laughs> um, get that, open that top drawer right there, my receipt drawer. It's kind of hard. Um, Somewhere right there, the order form, it would say where we ordered it from. It just thought, one of them says it wouldn't be a fabric receipt. It would be a blade, like a piece of paper receipt. He's going to look for it while I do this. I'm going to find the end, then I'll start the giveaway, and then we'll start timing myself on how fast this takes. Because we, I have to look at the time and how long I've even been on here. So I haven't found the end yet, but I'm untangling right, onto my lap. It would be a big receipt. We just bought them, my 60 mils. Yeah, okay, tell her where you got them from. It was an Amazon affiliate, remember? Okay, all I'm seeing is... We got them really cheap. Fabric. We didn't pay a lot for them. And they're the Ulfa ones. It's either Walmart fabric or mailing stuff. Is all I'm seeing. Well, the receipt should have been right there. I'll find it. Remind me when the video is done, when I'm done sewing all this together, and I'll look. Or email me. How about that? Email me, and then I'll look. And those that are winning... um. Today, I need your guys' addresses to email me that. Don't forget that, because I'm going to do the next giveaway in just a second. I'm almost to the end. <gasps> I'm getting close. I'm getting close. MJ's uh, glad she finally made it to one of your lives. Oh, awesome. Welcome. I found the end. I started with the dark. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to leave this up here for a second. So you guys can see this big old pile. I did all mine on the 45. We're going to look at the time. Sue gonna... Ann is on now. She says she's sorry. She's late. That's okay. Hi, Sue Ann. Let me move all this out of the way. Do you want help picking it up? No, two honey? seconds. I'm just scooping it out of the way. Okay, I can you do can all that while you talk. I'm getting to grab the next giveaway. Okay. Uh, PD Moss is new and loves watching you. So. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody that's new. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and haven't done that yet. Don't forget to join the group, too. All right, last giveaway while this pile is sitting here. So this is going to be to enter this one. Again, it's an embroidery design. Enter number three. Okay, so this is number three giveaway. Okay, it's called Nashville Lace. Get it? Nashville Lace. This is also a Hope Yoder Incorporated Designs. There are 16 glamorous embroidery designs for the five by seven hoop. Capture the essence of Nashville with white and silver metallic embroidery. 10 applique designs to use with cotton netting. Lovely filled designs with metallic highlights. One freestanding lace design with metallic highlights. Okay, so this is it. This is it. It's called Nashville Lace. Again. Can enter. I don't mind shipping it if it if the winner is out of the country. No big deal. Okay. The formats for this one are so if your embroidery machine uses these formats, A R T, H U S, J E F, P E S, S H V, V I P, V P three, and X X X. This is a two thousand and eight. Nashville Hope Yoder Designs, an embroidery machine. Again, ART, HUS, JEF, PES, SHV, VIP, VP3, and XXX. And here they are up close, as best as I could possibly bring it. Right there. There you go. 
So if you want to enter the giveaway to win this for your embroidery machine, again, it doesn't matter where you live. I don't care. We'll ship it anywhere. This has a big disc in it, so I don't know how embroidery machines work, but you do because you own one. So enter it if you want to win it. That's number three. And now I'm going to look at the time on the screen, and I am going to start racing, and Scott will do the giveaway while I'm racing. So right now, if you guys are doing this with me... Um, Julian, I got you. You put it on here twice, but I got uh, it. Yeah, Scott's writing them down, guys. He's not saying it out loud just yet. He'll make sure in a second. Are you meaning to enter it? You put two instead of three. Yeah, this is I for number it. three. Number two is already done. The winner for number two was Vicky, and the winner for number one was... Who was number one again? I forgot already. We got it over here. Melinda C. Melinda C. was number one. So we're on number Vicky three. Was number two. This, this giveaway, if you're watching this video after the fact, is only during this video. So that's why I didn't put giveaway in the top of the video. This was just random. I decided to do while I was racing. So I am going to start racing. If you want to post the progress that you're at or you want to start your timer because you're already at the same part as me since I took my time, <laughs> um, let me know because we're going to start the timer and see how long this actually takes. So let me see the time on the screen because I'm going to start. It's 1.41. We'll just put it at 143 because I'm still talking. We're going to write down the time number. One hour and 43 minutes so far. And I'm going to start racing. So if you are racing with me, let me know. We're going to see how long this takes. Actually, I even have an idea. I haven't hit the one minute 43 second bit yet, but we're going to put this on an hour. Does this even work? It does. All right, guys, I'm putting a kitchen timer on an hour. Let's see if I can do this in an hour. So the kitchen timer, when the bell rings, that's me when it'll be done. All right, here Michelle, we go. you put number two again. I'm not understanding. Number two's already done. So in, number two's already done, too. All right, well. We already picked winners. We're on number three now. All right, to let you guys know before I start racing, I am changing my my foot out just so you know anybody that's curious i was using my quarter inch foot it looks like this this is my foot for everything but this is my one for piecing because it has the quarter inch um it has the quarter inch notch right here that keeps me from going beyond yep. this will help me you can, go fast you that's fine typing number two do you want to be entered for number three michelle is it which Michelle? Okay, there it is. Michelle Renee. Mich my Michelle? Yeah. California Michelle? Looks like her. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's probably just messed up. That's all. It's okay. We got it now, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's my bestie in California. We're on the same page now. <clears throat> anyway. All right. So I'm going to start racing. Scott's doing the drawing. He's writing all the names down. I'm going to cut the hold paper on, and equally draw an for number three. Put, check the bobbin before you start the race. Do not want to run out. Okay. Sharon's Either way, the timer is on. So let's see how fast we can do it. Because I didn't... Oh, I am I got a good bobbin still, guys. Okay. At least for a while. I put a whole one in here when I changed the machine. When I cleaned. So it was nice and fresh. All right. So I'm going to grab my two ends. I'm going to put them right side together. And the weirdest thing is they're almost the same, but they're not. So I'm going to put them right side together. I'm going to line them up. And this is the fun part. I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see how my hands do this for a second. And then I'll have Scott zoom out. I'm going to show him how it works. The timer is already on. I really don't care, but I'm going to start sewing a couple of stitches with a back stitch real quick. I'm going to leave it right here. They're all telling you to look, check the bottom. Look, look, look. I'm zooming in so they can see how my hands do this. You want me to look at something? Squeeze the screen like that to see how I squeeze, yeah. zoom oh, out, okay. zoom in. Yeah, I know how to zoom do Zoom it that. back out in a minute. Just leave it right here for a second so okay, they can, can see. Can I finish writing the names down? Mm -hmm. He's still writing your guys' names. So this is how I do this. I take first finger under here, thumb on top. Teresa, you put number four. It's number three. <laughs> and then my, my middle finger and the rest of my fingers are on the bottom. So my first finger is in the middle. My thumb is on top. My rest of my fingers are on the bottom. I want you guys to see how fast it goes 
with just the adjustment of using your fingers like this. So I'm just going to start going. It's going to get loud and it's going to be loud for quite some time because we have a really big pile to go through. I will have to stop and adjust because it's all on the table. So here we go. Race on. So I keep my fingers like this. I only use my hand at the top to make sure that I'm making sure that my fabric is staying next to my guide, but my fingers are down here adjusting this as I go. So I don't have to stop unless I'm adjusting the fabric itself because I have so much to sew. Okay, I, could please, please, please. I could make this machine faster if I wanted to. And now I'm coming to seams. The seams are not pressed. They will fold down naturally because they're getting folded down by hitting. The seams are on the bottom. They're hitting this on my table. So if you have just the machine itself, it's going to hit that and it's going to fold your seam under and it should be really nice. Okay. Just like your top seam, you're going to come to that and it'll naturally fold down. So remember, just keep your fingers, middle thing. First finger is in the middle of the fabric. Thumb is on the top, the rest of the fingers on the bottom. And I use my fingers to adjust as I go. This is why I zoomed in so you guys can see this. And then my other hand just stays right here to make sure I am at the seam guide. And so now is the part where I'm going to have to start pulling fabric. And I'm also going to speed the machine up just a little and pull my pressure or my foot, my knee lift out because I'm going to probably start jumping around. And it's going to twist and turn, just adjust it. But I always put my fingers back where they were in the same spot. And everything stays nice and lined up. Again, I'm not pressing any seams, and I got some stuckness. I'm just going to throw this on the floor. You're saying you're fast. It's stuck. Okay, he's going to try to read the names off. I know you, it's hard to hear when I'm sewing. The microphone is right here if you want to. Okay, well, I'm just going to, don't move it. I'm just going to face it that way. Okay, I got Sue Ann Ballard. I got Vicki Lemire. I got little B.B. Cross. I got Linda Griffin. I got Kathy Warren. I got Paola Bartels. I got Donna G45. I got Georgia, I'm going to kind of screw your last name up again, and I got Carol Saunders. I got Teresa Louise, I got you, Michelle. I got Maria Garcia, I got Lynn Barube, I got Teresa McFair. I got you, Teresa, and I got you, PH. Don't worry, you're on there. Patrice Hollenbeck. This is PH. Anyone else? Anyone else? Going once, going twice. I okay, just heard them all up. Now. So we're, he's going to cut them all up and he's just going to put them right here and I'll grab while I'm sewing because I'm not oh, paying attention. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that better than my ordeal. Okay, give me a second to come, guys. He's got to cut all, he wrote it all on one paper and now he's got to separate them all. So I'm kind of just bringing some of this on Patrice here. Patrice says you're amazing. Oh, thank you. You guys see how my fingers are adjusting down here? Under my fingers. You guys see how I'm doing that? I hope you see that because I'm going to zoom back out now. I just use one hand up here always on this, and the other hand just moves these so that they are lining up. That way you never have to stop. You can just keep sewing and sewing and sewing until you have to adjust your strips. That's all you do. And it's so simple, so quick. My fingers do all the work. Oh, the sewing machine. I just I'm racing though. I really am. They say it's so much better than pinning. Yeah, I would never pin all this. That's too much to pin. It's too much to iron right away. It's best. Jelly roll races are best when pressed after the fact. 
Yeah. Not during. Reason for that is because there's so much to press that takes so much time. The reason for a jelly roll race is to race your way through it, get it done so you can get it to your gifty friend as fast as possible. You need it, something in like two hours, race yourself to get that gift out. You know, that's the whole point of the jelly roll race is to be able to do it just like this and just continuously sew and not have to do anything else but sit here. I want you to come by the new machine while you're uh, working there. Patrice wants to know about it. What right. machine? Huh? I take it the one you're using. My Juki is a TL2010Q. It got a bath today is what I call it. It went to the spa, which is in my backyard, and an air compressor and lots of pieces taken apart and oiled and cleaned up. And now it's filthy again, but that's okay. It goes to all the names he's cut up. Yes. Throw them right here. Uh, I'm rooting for you, little DB Cross, since you entered all of them, but we're not cheating here, so I have no idea who's going to win. The only one that entered all three. He hasn't won one yet. You're standing on my... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just mix it all up. Zoom it out, please. Zoom the camera out before I grab it. I'm not paying attention. I'm going to zoom out. He dropped the um, microphone. I didn't so drop it. I caught it. Okay, that's a zoomed out, but it doesn't show them. Do you want me to put them up there? doesn't show what? The, the name? I'm just going like this. I'm going to grab without oh. looking. Oh, you okay. Just mix them all up. Okay, I did mix them up. They're all mixed up. I'm not looking. That's how. I'm just adjusting this, and I'll sew and grab. So I'll be drawing number three. You know, you have almost 130 people at 149. What? Yeah. Thank you, everybody who came over from my links over at Becca's, um, so, uh, Becca's Babes group and from the Tiffany's Quilting Live community group and from anywhere that I shared, which would be here on YouTube that I was doing this today. Thank you everybody for coming here. This is a wonderful So Sunday. There's so many people here. And go. Oh. The winner is, oh, I don't know if we should do a, a double win twice. And I wasn't even looking and I messed up anyway in my race. Um, do you guys think it's fair if the same person wins more than once, or should I go through it again? Hold on, I gotta pick this out. I don't really care who wins, but I, I, I want to do that. I don't know how I managed to do that, but tell me to draw again because it was a, a name that was already drawn. Well, I don't know what any of the comments say. I don't know if they care. Do you guys care or not? Kim says do over. So far, no one else has said anything. All right. Well, I'm going to do over because it was already somebody that won. So I'm going to redo it because somebody already won something. So, and I think it's only fair if we let everybody get a chance. All right. Did you pull out the one that was Well, on? we entered the name, no? We shouldn't have, if we weren't going to pull it, I don't know. Well, is anyone else saying if it's fair or not? I don't know. Diane says it's fair. Some say draw again. Some say do over. I mean, really, it's a giveaway. It doesn't really matter to me, but if you guys think it's fair if I redraw. They drew it. I don't know. A lot of people are saying do over. All right, I'm going to give it the, the benefit of everybody getting a chance to win, so I'm going to pull a do-over, okay? Because I want everybody to have a chance to win. So just move that name out of the way. All right, All right. Not looking. Georgia Sinkus. Oh, that's a name that you didn't want to mess up either. Yeah, probably, right? I just kept Sin saying Georgia. Sinkis, Sinekis. She entered. She entered uh, the other one too. Yeah. Georgia, you're the winner of number three. So email me your. What is that word? Your address. Yeah, yeah. Email me your address, and I will get that sent out to you tomorrow. 
Thank you everybody for entering the giveaways and maybe you will all have a chance to win future giveaways when I hit 2,000 subscribers because I'm doing, I'm not going to tell you what, Becca gave away what hers was, but I'm not giving away what mine is. I have a giveaway for when I hit 2,000 subscribers so everybody will get a chance to win, a chance to win something. And not everybody will win something, but somebody will win something big and somebody, other people will win small things because I'm not going to do a lot because I don't have money. I'm broke. I already told you guys this. <laughs> but I am doing a giveaway at 2000 And you guys will like it because it's going to be perfect. I'm not going to tell you what, though. So thank you, everybody, for entering. Congratulations gonna, to the winners. We're going to give away all little those things. go away them. tomorrow into the mail if I get your guys' email. When we get to 2000 we're going to give away a bunch of little things that you guys can enter over and over and over to there. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you win little, more than once there. It's, we have a thing where we're going to try to do a bunch of little stuff, make it easier so that more people get a chance than having just one thing to give we're away. We're going to do one, one big item and a bunch of little things. Oh, and involved in that, I can tell you one thing will be at my 2,000 subscribers. I am giving away a baby quilt, pre-made by me. So that's one of the things, but I can't tell you the rest. But I am giving away a baby quilt at 2,000 subscribers. It's nothing special. It's just one of the things I did in a tutorial to show you what you can do with scraps. And it turned into a baby quilt, and so that's what I have. I'm racing now. I've been racing. I'm still going. If you use your fingers, guys, like I'm doing, you can see this. It literally, you can just nonstop run your machine. Just adjust. Sue Ann says she wants to win a baby quilt. Well, actually, Scott can show you the baby, bring out the baby quilt to show you guys that at least. So you guys know what's coming up at 2,000 subscribers. You guys got to help me reach that 2,000 subscribers, though. I'm at, what was it, 1,811 I, earlier or something like that? I don't know. It's right there, that yellow uh, over there. That way, in the closet, that yellow and gray right on the top. I'm looking for this right here. I don't know oh. what you're trying to point me to. The quilt. Oh. To oh. so show them. The quilt right there, sitting there, the baby quilt. Yeah, this one. Yep. That's my 2000 yellow, subscriber. Yellow, gray, and light blue. Giveaway quilt. Yep. It's just a baby quilt. I made it in a tutorial. Scott's going to hold it in front of the camera. Yeah, you hold it because you're farther back. So this is it. Hey, little this way. Little this way. I made it this in way. a tutorial. There we go. It was made in a tutorial. It's simple. It's not heavily quilted. It's very lightly quilted. It's small, but let's see the back. It back is my favorite. Dinosaurs. Directional dinosaurs. It's very small. It's not huge. It's for like a newborn. It's covered in thread because that's what happens with flannel. It does not have binding. This is a bindingless quilt. I showed you guys how to do this. Um, like I said, it's just stitched in a ditch. It's just a simple, simple quilt. This will be at 2,000 subscribers. So this will be one of the things. It's a quilt made by me. So, And I, I know a lot of you want quilts made by me. So, <laughs> Even though it's simple and something that you can do, it's that's 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I already like made this like thing in my head what's going and stuff so that's one of the things that's one of the things so you can look forward to that so help me get 2000 and maybe you'll be the winner <laughs> they follow up the dinosaurs too. Sorry. Sorry. it's soft too it's very soft because i use really really thick um even though it was scrap batting that made it i use uh three fourth inch batting so i got a spin going on I'm still racing here. How many are racing? You guys racing with me? Yeah. <laughs> 
the, the Kim, whatever one that had to cook. Mary. Mary. She says, on a brighter note, you won't have to shave your legs. <laughs> what? She says, on a brighter note, you won't have to shave your legs. I don't shave my legs anyway. <laughs> I actually have but a lot of Indian funny. and Scandinavian in me. I am not hairy at all. Like... I always thought that my boyfriends and husbands and anybody in the past would always hate that I don't shave my legs because I really barely, I don't have hair. There is no hair from the knee up at all. It's little bitty blonde ones and they're, they're scattered. They're not even long. They're just little, you can't even tell. It looks like I'm fully shaved, but I'm not. And the bottom of my legs has hair, but it's not like you think. It, it's little scattered patches, you know? So, yeah. That's all I have. I don't have much hair. I got blessed with barely any hair. And it's lessening over the years. If you don't shave, I got to tell this to people that are my age. If you don't shave, starting at whatever age puberty starts and girls start shaving their legs, this these day and ages, it's like nine years old. I didn't start shaving my legs until I was 17. I didn't start anything until I was 17 because I didn't want to. And I really never wanted to anyway. I did it a few times in the summer to go to the lake or, you know, I, I shaved my legs when I had my kids because I didn't want the doctor like seeing all my hairy legs while in his face. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't shave. And I think the less you shave over the years, the less you will grow hair, you know, like literally it just naturally falls out. So that's my own personal opinion. I do shave my armpits though. But there's barely any hair there either. That's like once every one week and a half that I do that. <laughs> I got blessed with no hair. I just don't like them. My eyelashes are falling out. I liked my barely eyelashes. I had some kind of eyelashes. Oh, well, back to the lighter side. You got 132 people at the moment. What? Oh, my, my, my. I'm hitting record highs. This is freaking amazing. They like racing with you. Yes, they they love racing. With you. I'm gonna move this because it feels like it's gonna fall on me. I'm just gonna put all that right there because it's just going where it wants. I put the machine on the fast. Well, it's not really on fast. I put it on the fastest it can go without running off the table. You guys see how this works? I don't even need the other hand, as long as the one hand is moving the fabric and aligning it. It literally just goes and goes and goes. And then you pull some onto your lap and just go and go and go. It's so quick. And again, I'm not ironing anything. All these seams are already pushing themselves down. It doesn't matter. I will press when I'm done. Because nothing lines up. Everything is totally different. Thank you, Candy. We're going to What? Kim, what you had she a say? spam thing. And she uh, deleted it immediately. She awesome. Died. Scott doesn't know how to use the moderation from there. Actually, you want to come over here and I'll show you real quick for the next time that you're on. Just in case. When there's like, say, spam, even though these people control it, that's why they're here. Mm -hmm. You just click on it, hold it. I'm not deleting Mary. I'm just showing him the thing. So you can report, remove, yeah. put user in timeout, hide user on my channel. So if it's really bad, we just put hide on my channel. We completely, okay. and we remove the comment. And, or we can make that person a moderator if somebody needs to be a moderator. And yeah. if you don't okay. want to do anything, then don't touch it. You just hold that's down cool. on that specific comment or name. But that's what the moderators are for, is to delete that stuff. Because that's cool. we get some weird ones. I know. Francis is new to your channel and they want to know how many jelly rolls are you using. Francis? Yep, Francis. Francis, Jack. I am using two jelly rolls. Welcome to my channel and I am in the middle of a race and I have a timer on. <laughs> We're seeing how fast I can actually sew these together. And there's two jelly rolls that are 40 piece. I forgot to say that. Sewn together on the bag. Don't forget to subscribe to all of those that are new to Tiffany's Quilting Life. Hey, at least I haven't lost my silliness and all my problems. But I will regret being up later. <laughs> Ask Scott. He will tell you. Mm -hmm. I will be not happy. But yes, that's okay. We have movie night after this. And what's tonight's movie? Because everyone's going to ask, right? What's tonight's movie? I'm thinking it's the fire, but I think it's called Only the Brave. 
Only the brave. It's a fire. Is it the firefighting yes. one where they go into it's some the of the droppers? Story. It's the true story of the smoke jumper guys. Okay, yeah. It's a true story of smoke jumpers. And, and I'll go lay in bed and watch a movie. I forget what state. Really good movie there. It's good stuff. True story of the real guys. So for but those like that don't know me again. and are new to my channel, every Sunday I have So Sunday at 5 p.m., which would be Mountain Standard Time, I guess. But uh, we don't change times. So in the summer, our time would be different than yours. But 5 p.m. Arizona time, Mountain Standard Time, Arizona. <laughs> um, I'm on here. Sometimes I'm in bed because I've been sick lately. That I'll hand sew and just chat. Sometimes I'm in here. It's always something different. Um, I do from scrap projects to fresh brand new quilts. I do patterns. Uh, but most of the patterns designed, if you're new to my channel, are always their own video. I try to make those their own little series. So Sunday is either bind something or finish a quilt or play with scraps or race a jelly roll race. <laughs> For those that are racing with me. And Scott left the room, but if you are racing with me or doing this with me, what part are you at so far? And let me know if you if the ones that are doing this too, did you sew your stream your streams, your seams straight or did you do the 45 like me? Hey, Kim, I see I have that. so you know, much more. What's Kim doing? She being naughty. She says husbands are our biggest children. <laughs> he still has the screen, you guys. He's he's on the iPad still watching. I just went out to get the movie. He went out to get the movie so he could show you guys what we're watching tonight. We're going to try. Maybe we could try showing you guys what we're going to watch every time so you can get a visual on what kind of movies I watch. It's based on the Granite Mountain podcast. Stay right. over here. So they could see it in the camera. We rent movies from the library all the time. So we can watch movies. And this is one of the movies we are watching. It's always mm. something different. The library is free. So we take Some libraries aren't open, I heard, though. But ours is. But movies go into quarantine and only once a week we can pick them up pretty much. So. You, you can't, everything in the library is caution taped up. You can only yeah. go in to pick stuff up. So you have to go online and put it on hold and then you can walk in and pick it up. That's all you can do. And yes, they quarantine when you turn it in. It's quarantined for three days, which is actually four days because they do it for four days and it's supposed to be three. So it takes a while, but it's I free, so I don't know if you so guys can complain. hear him while I'm sewing, but. Yeah, we use the library for new movies, but we do have our own DVD collection and VHS collection. Like, we could watch whatever we want when we want, and Netflix and all that kind of stuff. It's the thing we do because we are both movie likers. Well, thanks to our daycare, our, our girl's mommy got us uh, Hulu and Disney Plus, so we have a lot of stuff to choose from. Yes. Only in one room, though. Yeah, we only have one TV that shows it all, but... Can you read to me who's doing this with me, and did you see... None it? of them have said that. Or else I would have told you. Tip wants to know who's actually racing with you, guys. Oh! Okay, bobbin change. And I actually didn't roll anymore, so we're going to have to... Let's just roll right here so you guys can Teresa see. Teresa says you're 21 minutes in. Oh, she's timing me? <laughs> yes. I forgot to tell you that. Well, I have the earlier. timer on. I, I turned the timer on, but I was messing about before um, the timer thing went. Do you hear how that sounds so much different when this thing is clean and oiled? It's so much better. Normally, I don't roll well on, but I, don't, I have a bobbin. I have one. <laughs> So I would have still had to roll because we're going to be doing this eight times, I think eight times. I, ha I, I did the math earlier for it 
Um, but I'm pretty sure it's eight times that we're going to be cutting this. You were up to 134, 135. You're down now. But... That's okay. I'm yeah, glad I'm that it went just... that high. That's amazing. I'm 100% ecstatic that everybody yeah. is here and so... watching and racing and excited to watch me race. Swim has no power tonight to race. Goes. Diane's working on a UFO. Ooh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. What'd you do that for? Thank you. I don't know how that happened. That was weird. And I can't thread this dumb needle, so I have to use my little threader that was sent to me. So I always have such issues. So I got this cute little threader because I still don't... I've had this Juki now for three years, over three years, and I still don't know how to use the threader. <laughs> That's a long time. Not know how to use something. Ah, All right, let's keep racing. I don't know who's actually racing with you. I know Kim is doing it. Kim told me she was doing it, so I don't know how far she is. While watching and typing. There's a lot left, guys. That I'm. Well, one person about... said two rolls eight times. Does that mean they're doing it? That's Sue Ann. Yeah, I, um, two rolls is eight cuts. And she said three rolls sixteen times. Yep. Again, so does that mean she's doing it? Probably, or she did the math. And it should be fifty. No, 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 no. Yeah, fifty-eight by sixty. It should be around 58 by 67 or 69, or maybe it was 77 or 79. That, that should be the amount because these are two and a half inch strips. And I, I did the math on it all, and I should have wrote it down. I'm trying to go by memory, though. Diane it didn't know about small. the race, or she would have gotten jelly rolls to do it with you. It seems small, but with a border or two, the... Um, it'll be twin size because anything that's uh, fit 60 by 90 is twin. So, which also fits on a full size bed. You guys would be surprised what fits on a full size bed nicely. Yeah, Paula is racing in spirit. She took a pain pill. <laughs> I actually took some gabapentin before starting because my legs, oh my God, I have had the shaky leg syndrome. I call it shaky leg syndrome. It's not really called that, but my legs are shivering. They haven't stopped like at all. My legs are shiver, 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 shiver. And um, it's highly annoying, but it's also painful, like very painful. So I took that so that my legs won't shiver while I'm sitting here because I knew I was going to be sitting for a long period. So I wanted to make sure I was good. Yeah, this is probably going to be the th the whole hour is probably going to take on the first pass. It gets faster by passing. This is taking a while. I better stop talking and just so. I can talk to him. Scotty can talk. <laughs> yeah. Like they want to hear. Unless mm -hmm. anybody has questions, I can respond to questions while going. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have him reading here with me. <laughs> nice that he's here. Very, very easy to be able to have someone reading for me. Swam so says the printer on that machine is a pain. Oh, I doubled. Damn it. Where'd it land? Okay. On this machine, yes. But I have yet to know how to use it. It's the weirdest thing. Sometimes when you go really, really fast with this Juki, um, when you have it in fast mode, like me, on uh, Rabbit and not Turtle, it, it'll it spin around this um, lever, the tension lever. It's the puller. No, this is the puller. I, I don't know. Whatever. This stupid lever that goes up and down. It'll spin around that if you're going too fast. The thread will get too loose. It's weird. Like, because you're going so fast. I'll try to thread it without the threader. 
My little girls are amazing, Sue Ann. Thank you for asking. They're the light of my life. That little one is always so happy. Gianna has her moments. She likes to throw her little fits, but the little one, most, most of the time, I won't say 100%, but most of the time, she's so happy. Last Breaks night, up my day. Triana was in the pool with me. Well, actually, we were all in the pool while I was watching tea quilts. <laughs> I was in the pool the whole long video watching tea quilts. The whole time tea was on, I was in the swimming pool. The whole time everybody was swimming with me, with the girls, and I did not drop or spill or wet my phone. Yep, I was in, both the little ones were in, we were having fun. Got some twisting going up right here. And I have so much pinking disaster on me. They make our day. They're here six days a week. We got to love them. It's nice to have adopted nieces. <laughs> I don't get to see my nieces and nephew very often, or my other nieces and nephews from my um, half-sister. Because, well, I don't know why. I just can't see them. Oh, no, Sarah, it's a little tiny above-ground pool. It's, it's only 12, 12 foot round by 33 inches tall or 31 inches tall. Yeah, it's like two and a half feet deep. That's about it. It goes to my butt cheeks when I'm standing in it when it's full. Yeah. And I'm only 5'2". It's great for the little ones, though. She's a little girl. She can stand in it so she doesn't freak out. And Triana is plenty big for it. She goes under all the time. And it's the perfect height. Even though they can stand, they still can swim in it because... They can kick their legs and feet like regular swimming because it's big enough for them to do it. And even I, me, swim in it. One of these days, I should actually make a how I do my pooler sizes video because I'm pretty sure some of you are curious how to exercise in a small swimming pool. I just don't have the courage. I have the courage to do the video because I don't mind being on camera. It's being on camera in my bathing suit and body parts come out. I don't know if that would be good. <laughs> Plus, someone would have to hold the camera while I just wear exercises. regular clothes, like me. I wear shorts and t-shirts. Everybody don't have to put sunblock on. Yeah, but to show what ab muscles are working, it would be nice to show my abs, you know, oh, for the ab wow. exercise, or to show what arm muscle. I can't have a shirt that covers my arm if I'm trying to the muscle we're working out. Okay. You know. Diana, Diana says Triana is the cutest. Oh yes, she definitely. Is. A lot of you get the pleasure to talk to the girls uh, um, via, like, the Facebook Messenger chat, like, video chat. A lot of you have the opportunity to video chat with the girls because we video chat all the time. And that's awesome that you guys get to see them. And for the rest of you who like to see them, just ask. And whenever they're here next and I'm on a video, I'll bring them on the camera. They, they don't mind. Uh, Triana turns this into her video. Like, she becomes the star. <laughs> yes, Triana is definitely wants to be in the camera. Sasha's a high and by girl. She's high She's in and out. She's high and then leave, yes. But yeah, Triana's the star of the show. She actually asked me recently if she can have her own YouTube channel. I said, what, you're ready to make money already? And I know for a fact her channel would probably have a million subscribers because it would be on YouTube Kids. So it would have like a million subscribers in like a month. Because <laughs> she's a kid. But <laughs> well, like, she's goofy. And she's goofy. Teresa says don't do the pull video live. There you go. Yeah. Or don't do it on this channel and do it on my other YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel, by the way, guys. I don't do anything with it. It's just there for storage, actually. It's my overflow channel. Michelle says, let me know when you post your quilt top. I will post mine. Yeah, I will when I'm done. I want to iron it when I'm completely done. How's the quilt that CJ got? Sue Ann wants to know. It's amazing. It fits on his bed. It got washed. Nothing fell apart. 
nothing has ever fallen apart except for like my first three quilts because I didn't know. Um, nothing happened. It looked great from the wash. I like tightly quilted it. He loves his quello. He sleeps on that quello every night. He says he loves the feel on it. And when he wakes up in the morning, you can see the little lines on his face from the quilting. He loves it though. Oh, we're almost to the end, guys. Like 22 miles left to go. 22 miles. <laughs> 22 I love miles it. left to go. I love it. <laughs> I need a drink of water. You want me to get your water? Oh, okay, you got one. Uh, straighten these up real quick. We should actually... Uh, Google search this, guys. <laughs> Who wants to be the Google searcher? How many miles, or, or how much part of a miles, because it'll probably be like 0.23 or whatever a mile. If you connect 40, 42 inch jelly roll strips, so 80, 42 inch pieces, so 80 times 42, whatever that number is, Google that number in inches to yardage. I mean, to uh, mileage and see how many miles all this is if it was stretched out. I'm a Googleaholic. That's why I'm asking if one of you want to Google it. <laughs> see if there's an answer. So 42 times 8, whatever that number is, or times 80, 42 times 80, whatever that number is, then go take that number to Google and say that number inches into miles. I'm a Google hawk. I'm trying to race here. One made a mama tag quilt. She loved it. A what quilt? Tag quilt. Tag. What does that mean? I don't know. T-A-G? Like yeah, T-A-G. Tag quilt. What's a tag quilt, Duana? By the way, my eyes are kind of looking up here, and my eyes are kind of looking right here to make sure that I'm still aligning. I forgot to say that earlier. I use my eyes, like I look up, I look down, I look up, I look down. And since I don't have peripheral vision, I kind of can't see any further. <laughs> uh, no, Michelle, I've not seen the Thin Man movie. Thin Man movie. Thin Man movies. Thin Man? Is that something Lexa watches? No, I think it's old school. Uh, Thin Man. I think. I could be wrong. Though. Sounds like something Lexa likes, you know, like that slender. Yeah, she slender, likes slender man. That's a different slender thing. Man. I'm getting to areas where it looks like the same fabric. Okay, are Jill looked up. it up. Jill Thomas said it's point uh, zero five three miles. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Forty times eighties, three thousand three hundred six. So there's 3,360 inches here that converts into what did you say? Point point zero five three miles. Point zero five mile. three miles. So that's almost a half a mile. No. Point five. Point three. five would be. It's point oh. zero five. Oh. <laughs> well, at least I did it all while sitting. <laughs> <laughs> zero point zero five three of a mile while sitting on my bum, racing. It's a Thin Man movies. I think they're older movies. I don't know. They're talking about them now. I'm not sure. I've never I'm seen almost them. to the end, guys. I hope you are, too. I hope you guys are taking my go fast advice. Where are your glasses, Diana? Who, me? I, I guess. She's, Diane says, where are your glasses? Remember, I have fancy Michael that are covered in dust. How do they get dust on them being a 
container. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I'm taking all this time to do this just to see. Don't I look so cute? I look like a school teacher. Oh, yeah, That's you what got everyone always says. You got 142 people watching. What? Ah, oh, you guys are so awesome. I have the speedometer going or speedometer. I have the pedal going to the metal now. <laughs> completely. This is as fast as this machine goes, and it's gonna start shaking off the table. I need to speed up. Now you know why someday, I said it last night on T's chat, someday, someday I will have an industrial. And if I'm really, 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 you know, thinking about it, it will be a Juki, I think. I think I'm going to get like what Donna Jordan has or what like, um, uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Oh my goodness. Um, there's another YouTuber I follow. She has a really awesome, Lauren Mormino. She has a really nice machine too. Something like that. So if I was to get something faster for piecing, because I'm so fast with this usually. I need to go fast. I think an industrial. And then turn this into my sit down quilting only. Or dresses. I love them too, guys. Look, they're Michael Kors. They're very expensive glasses. They were like 300 and something dollars. I didn't pay that though. I got them on discount because I bought them. But they're super, super duper cute. If you look at them carefully, the camera's not going to show it. They're actually... You know, we didn't pay no 300 bucks for your glasses. They're crisscrossed I mean. like this. They have like a... It's the Michael Kors symbol. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let's see. Is it showing up on camera? And they're purple. Mm -hmm. Which not is my favorite very, color. Not very well. Oh. Anyway, yeah. I got them for like 55 bucks on sale. They were really, it was really awesome. But they were 300 originally. The lady's like, oh, how about this set? And I'm like, I'm not going to pay that much money. She goes, oh, no, no, they're on clearance. <laughs> I've had them for like four years now. Well, honestly, if you put a shelf liner under it, it will keep it from moving around. There is one. Yep. It still moves. There's it's the table. I think it's the table's too cheap, too cheesy. Suzanne says Donna Jordan uses an industrial juki. Yep, that's like what I want. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Kathleen says, Tiff, we should road trip to see Donna. Oh, we should. I really, really would love to go to like Missouri Star and to, to Jordan Fabrics and to, I want to go to New York and meet Margaret Lowen because I, I was supposed to go see my aunt who lives literally the city next to Margaret. And I already was supposed to do that, but then whatever. And then I was supposed to go to Kentucky this year, but then I ended up with Valley Fever and then the family died, a family member died. So it, I mean, all these things kept piling up. So when I feel better and get better... I want to do my culty travely stuff that does not involve Scott. He could stay home with the kids and whoever hey, I never wants to go you from with traveling. me. I, I want will you to travel. Fly there and or drive there. I prefer because <laughs> I like to drive. And we will go visit places. I want to go see parks and monument type stuff. You can go to New York and visit whoever. I want to go see Niagara Falls. But it's next to Niagara Falls. Okay, the whole that's what I want to see. It's like not even two hours. You can go see somebody in a. South Dakota or whatnot. I want to see the... This is South Dakota. I don't know, but I want to see the, the mountain. <laughs> I want to see the mountain the president's own. You can go see somebody up in the Redwood National Forest. I'm I want to see the Redwoods. I'm never going to the Redwoods again. That's why I got Lyme disease. Why I would I go there again? I know, but that's <laughs> what I want to see. I want to go see that stuff. You, you can go see whoever. If anybody's curious, my, uh, I just so happen to be plagued with illnesses. I've had Lyme disease. I have MS. I have fibromyalgia. I have gastrophoresis. I have GERD. I have IBD. I have you name it. And now I have Valley Fever. And I've had, did I say Lyme disease already? I said that. Yes, you said Lyme disease. It's like I'm destined to be studied for medical experimental crap. Yeah, That's nobody's learning Rushmore. anything. Yes, we want to see Mount Rushmore. That's one thing I want to see. Thank too. you for that. I want to see Niagara Italy. Falls, too. Mount Rushmore is in South Dakota, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
<clears throat> well, South Dakota is what three states, no, four states below New York. It's over or no, two. No, four states below Virginia and it's over, over two. I don't know, somewhere right there. Yeah. Don't ask me. I don't have a map. All these people want to go with you to see Donner. Road trip. I don't have a big enough car. I guess we're going to have to rent a van. <laughs> and we'll stop at every single quilt shop on the way. We'll go meet Rob Appel. We'll go meet, um, we'll go down to Palm Springs and meet Dale, the quilting cowboy. Because I know all sorts of people, guys. Um, we can go meet everybody and have a good old time and have fun. And then we could go back over the other way. And we'd go to Missouri and get tea and hang out with her. And we can go down to Virginia and pick up Becca and hang out with her. <laughs> We'll just travel everywhere. And wants to do a whole weekend at Donna's. Really? Yeah. I just, her shop, so many batiks. Like, I don't know if I can keep up with how much batiks they have at their shop, you know? Every time that camera starts rolling, you see even in their storage room, all that fabric. It's like, holy moly. And then yet Missouri Star has, what, 15 stores now? Because they took over, um, Missouri Star bought, uh, oh my God, what is her name? Oh my God, what is it? Nancy, Nancy's Notions. So Missouri Star bought Nancy's Notions. So now there's going to be another store, which will make 15 or 16 stores. That's 15 stores. Whoever's in Missouri and knows that, no, I think it's 15 stores. I mean, that's like five days alone. Diane wants to come see the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is only, well, from here, you guys know I went there. To the Grand Skywalk. Canyon is awesome. Two different ways. One way is two and a half, almost three hours. The other way is almost four hours. That's the way we went when we went during a snowstorm and we had icicles like this big hanging off of our tires that were shooting out because we went during a snowstorm that we didn't expect coming. And none they of weren't us quite were, that long, but yes, we, they were coming off we the rims. Weren't, we of weren't the tire. dressed properly. They were forming on the rims of the tire. It was pretty crazy. It looked like spiked tires. It was cool. Missouri Star take, took over Nancy's notions. Yeah, I said that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had to think about the name. That's probably why it went said. Because the thing is back a little bit. Well, Linda's saying so, so the clock is running. Oh, I'm so I'm so I'm so Diane has met Rob. Really? Well, that says oh, Rob at, is very energetic. At um, Quilt Market or uh, Houston Quilt Show. What's Diane? There's two Dianes on right now. Or three. There's two on right now. Diane 57M. Yeah, that's, that's the Diane I talk to all the time. Yes, I know. It's the only Diane I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's spunky. So is Dale, though, the, the quilting cowboy. He's very, very spunky, spunky. Anna's going to go see the Grand Canyon soon. Who is? Ann Ayers. Ooh, well, you won't be far from me if you want to come visit. <laughs> I already told you guys, if any of you ever come to Arizona, you guys are all allowed to come visit and hang out and sew with me. And we can even go live if you're willing to be on camera. She's driving to Oklahoma via Utah to Arizona through Cali. Then you're driving the 40. It's literally, if you're going the 40, you're literally going to be 19 miles from me when you hit that exit. All right, guys, we're almost to the end, and it's very, very Yes, she tangled. says it was at the Houston Quilt Festival. That's awesome, Diane. I want to meet him in person. I haven't got to meet a lot of the people in person because I keep getting sick and all my travel plans get ruined. Nope, we're not in California. We're in Arizona. I'm in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Very, very hot spot for traveling, guys. I won't give you my address, but unless you actually want to come to my house. And then I'll screen you. I will look you up and make sure you're not a murderer. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. I'm being silly. Hey, we got little kids here. Yeah. My little girl. I, I will. Don't know nobody. I will make sure we talk first so that I know. But most of you I know. Like, there's a lot of you I know. There's probably a hundred and however many people on here, and I actually, in physically know what 45 of you in person well couple in person the rest video chat 
I always tell you guys, you're welcome to video. Chat with me whenever. Well, Anne's going through Mesa. Pretty much Phoenix. That's like three or four hours well, from Well, if us. you're going through the 10, it's then probably you would about be four an hours hour of traffic. and half. No, an hour and... Yeah, and about an hour and a half from me. All right, here's the end. So I'm going to straighten this up as best as possible. So this is my end right here. We're going to pretend that that's nice and straight. And now I'm going to cut this right here. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, you hit that. 150 people. It's cut. Here we go. We're on the end. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Oh, I don't have my knee lift. I'm gonna... I am not pressing. What we're going to do is I'm going to keep this on my lap now and it's going to get hot. Let me adjust my butt for a second. The timer didn't go off, so that actually took less than an hour. I need to adjust my butt. Oh, I can bring my uh, knee lift back. You only have five minutes left. <laughs> on my clock? Yeah. Well, we're going to restart it for the next series then. The next pass. I just so, needed to stretch my butt. So anyone wants to know what happened to the quilt you had on the wall that they all did for you. Oh, it's all, it's in my bedroom. It was on my bed. And it's... Okay, so I have... It was on the bed three, for a while, actually, I guys. have three personal quilts. Two of them have polyester batting. Uh, polyester. One of them has a poly cotton. And one has a 100% cotton. Right now, the 100% cotton one is on my bed because it is so thin. It's like having a sheet on me. It's it's really thin, very, very thin. The other one that you guys made that I put together, that everybody sent for my birthday, that one is put aside. It's sitting on my little, you guys know those two green chairs, my um, wingback chairs in my bedroom, my little sitting area. Those, it's sitting on the middle table that's on those. I have this little like antique uh, tea table, tea time table or whatever. And it's sitting on those. Oops. Well, I'm a retard. I need the end up here. Stay. Anyway, um, it's sitting in there. And then my third quilt, it's that I made for my bedroom, which is the um, a girl's best friend, that big diamond quilt. That was only on the bed once, and I was totally afraid that the girls were going to destroy it, so I took it off my bed. I didn't want it to get ruined, so I, it's it's probably just going to be my personal take to a quilt show quilt whenever I need a quilt in a hurry kind of thing for the quilt show. All right, so we're going to be doing this eight times. All right, so I'm going to open this up, and I am not doing anything. I'm just going to finger press the beginning right here. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to grab this end right here, like this, and I'm going to finger press that too, just so that I can have my start to it. It doesn't matter which way it goes, because I really don't care. I am now going to put these well, right in, sides together. Who's in Paducah, Kentucky? Jenny says, don't forget to go to Paducah, Kentucky. That's the where um, the Hancock's is, oh. the big quote, big quote store called Hancock's. Okay. It's in Paducah. There's lots of stuff I would love to see. Trust me, you guys. I really, really, really would love to go lots and lots of places. All right, we're on row two. My timer's going to go off, and Scott's going to reset it. But the timer was counted from anyway when I started. Oh, when do you want me to turn it I started at an one hour? hour and 43 minutes. Do you want me to put it back to an hour? Yeah. Because it's, I don't want them to d hear the dinging. It's really it's going to ding really loud in yeah, like two I seconds. Yeah, this machine is going too far, too fast. So this part is going to take just a little bit longer because I am not pressing. But I'm still using thumb on top, first finger in the middle, and the rest of my fingers on the bottom. And I'm still adjusting, but it's shorter distances that I'm sewing because I have to keep twisting it open as I go. I'm and holding water. the I'll bottom open. Can I have a fresh cold one, please? Yeah. So I'm just going to adjust and sew. And actually, some of it's coming from under my lap and some's coming from the top of my lap. And my machine is just going wild and crazy. 
I've opened a little bit of it, sew it. Open a little bit of it and sew it. Again, nothing's being pressed until I am completely done and then I'll press it and show you. So we're doing this eight times and I'm gonna keep this video going. I don't care if it's long. You guys do realize one thing about my long videos. You ready for this? It keeps me from going to smoke. And not that smoking is going to kill me because I'm already dying. Where'd my chapstick go? I just had chapstick right here. One day I went to grab chapstick. I think it was while I was on a live. I grabbed the glue stick instead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one is Because that that here's my glue stick. Here's my chapstick. I grabbed the glue stick accidentally. Who's the, the Kevin RTH one? Mary. She, Mary says, thank God that you shave your armpits. <laughs> she says, thank God, Scott, that she shaves her armpits. You guys are still back on that. <laughs> I wear tank tops 90% of the uh, time. I only throw these tops on for live streaming. Uh, that way you guys, some people, I don't know. I've gotten rude and nasty messages because I'm covered in tattoos and piercings. Well, oh darn well, that's what I like and that's how I am. So, uh, What Juki do you have? Glennis wants to know. The TL2010Q. And when I originally bought this, okay, so some people I've I've noticed with um, talking to a lot of subscribers, some people have purchased this machine and they're not getting all the stuff I got when I bought mine. I got, um, I have to say all this while I'm so, I got uh, the knee lift came with mine. I got the special quarter inch foot. I got the regular foot. I got, um, what else did I get? I got like two spools of free thread. Um, I got like, my walking foot. I got like two free motion feet. Uh, I got like tons of attachments. The only thing I didn't get was my, uh, like a, there's a s holes here for a screw guide that instead of using tape and all this other stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I didn't get was the screw thing. But yeah, I got tons of stuff when I bought this, like seriously. Tammy says she should get together. Says so she has ink also. Yeah, I'm. So I've had some rude comments. I don't know. Nothing against anybody, but June says tattoos been, are my thing. June says it's been nine months since she quit smoking. She gained some weight, but oh well. That's good for you, June. Congratulations. You it's better. It's better to quit smoking and gain some weight. This keeps me from smoking, so. I'm not gonna quit though, like, just like that, cause it'll make my lungs worse. So we, we don't wanna just stop 100%. I don't wanna get worse than I already feel. Trust me, it's. It's a burning feeling. I, I, I can't show you guys certain things on camera, but most of you ladies know I have issues and yeah it's it's very hard it's all these problems are ruining my body well, says go to if you can do it <laughs> so for those just joining this is the double jelly roll race sewn together on the 45 degree angle you can do it whatever way you want i am actually I'm actually supposed to be racing, but I'm actually talking more than I'm saying. I do guts to be entertainment at the same time. How else did I get a hundred and however many people viewing me? You hit 150 at one time. You're at 143 now, but it's going down a lot once you get to the higher numbers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Does anybody have any questions? I'm on the second pass again of a double jelly roll race. That means two jelly rolls is making this. And I kind of, instead of taking the jelly roll off the, the roll as it came and sewing them together, I kind of put them together in my own little way so that it cascades nicely through the quilt. I definitely didn't want it to just all be blacks and then whites because that's in a couple other colors, the green. It makes sense. Your daughter watched you for the first time a couple weeks ago and she said, how cool is she? She has <laughs> tattoos and she's a quilter. Awesome. Uh, awesome. That's great. I really, really, I, I, I have a, a crappy, horrible, you guys have seen it when I wear tattoos when I'm backside to you. I have a really crappy tattoo on my back um, from an apprentice that was trying to tattoo for the first time and I was the guinea pig back when I was a shop. I, I was in a tattoo shop working. Um, and yeah, I decided to be the guinea pig for the first time tattoo and the guy dug in my back. Oh, it's a horrible tattoo. I mean, it's not, it's, it's whatever. It's at first, it looked nice. It was cool at first because I was in my early 20s and I thought it was awesome. Um, it's because I had five kids, so I have five skulls. And because I'm Indian, so I have, it's got, um, uh, uh, oh my God, I don't even know the word for it. Tribal? Tribal on the sides of it. <laughs> but I want to cover it up. But what I want to cover it up with, and, and my husband doesn't really, he doesn't, it's not that he's against tattoos, he has tattoos. He doesn't want me to cover who I am with it. He doesn't want me to cover my whole body up. And I understand that, you know, and I'm cool with it. That's why I haven't got a tattoo in like four years since I got my last one. Well, you want to do the peacock. You want to do your whole back so and your that, whole side. So that like nasty, peacock, funky thing that's on my back, I want to cover with a big, huge peacock. Cover that up with a pretty, pretty awesome peacock and the tail of the peacock come down and wrap around into my side onto my butt cheek oh that'll be so pretty so pretty and then yeah then i want to like fix my arm and stuff and okay well kathleen someday Stephen, any thought on how you'll finish up the final design of the book for jamming on this yes oh i'll just put a border around it and grab maybe, some maybe kind she of means what kind of quilting design i'm not sure oh quilting i have no idea because i can't long arm right now and i don't feel like free motion quilting. she says the final design of the quilt you're jamming on so i take it that's what you're doing. yeah i don't know i'm i don't know what i'm going to quilt on it i don't even know what it's going to look like it's just going to happen the way We it have happens. to bring the long arm into the house. We can't long arm over the summer here. It's too hot. Yeah, my other husband is sitting on the floor. Turned off. I can't wait to turn him on again. <laughs> <laughs> I just love playing with my other husband. <laughs> All that thread and needles. <laughs> I like poking around with them. Plus, he's very fast, too. Yeah. And he's fast. He gets the job done. He goes quick. <laughs> Sorry if you're under 18 and you don't, and, and we're over 18, and you don't like sexual pun. Leave now. <laughs> okay, a closing question. Would it have been easier to sew the rolls separately than sew the two together? Thanks, Pam. Sew them separately? I don't get it. I don't get it. To sew the rows? Sew the rolls separately. Oh, you make make two. Sew the two tops together. and then hook them together. No, because then I would have done th what well, it would have been like three passes and then hook this one on with three passes. No, it wouldn't have worked. It would have looked weird. That's why I decided to do two, like this. I decided to put the whole thing together because it makes a big mess and you really, really want to see how fast it can go. That's why I'm doing it this way. But yeah, that, that's a smart thing to do too if you want to do it that way. Okay, Kathleen, I rephrased her question. She she meant how will it be all the strips side by side or would you cut the rows up and sew them differently? No, I'm going to keep it all the way. It, it, whatever happens, once they're all finished, all the rows are made, is what happens. And then 
and I'll trim it if I have to add borders. And then they're all laughing at your jokes on the other husband. Uh, yeah. I'm dying. Or I'm dying. Faces saying, <laughs> Tiffany, you're crazy. One says you're getting kinky. They're making Sorry, I got you smiley faces. I have a gutter mind and mouth in real life. If you guys hung out with me other than live stream in real life, well, I don't as much anymore. And you can ask Scott. I used to cuss all the time. Every other word. But since kids are always around and stuff, I do my best to just keep it nice and calm. But I screw with my own kids all the time. And they're like, Mom! You, you embarrass the hell out of them when their friends are around. Them. And that is hilarious. Like, I think it's so funny. I, I don't know. It's, it's hilarious. I'm just... I'm goofy. I'm a... I'm a feel good. I make you feel good because laughing is the best way to heal. You know. Tammy says everything you do is always so good. Well, I wasn't sure about this because Scott did pick out these jelly rolls, and he wasn't sure what I like or don't like. I just get you a gift. You decide. He just, he just buys them for me, so you design, I wasn't sure. You think you do it your In, way. Originally, these two jelly rolls were actually. I was going to make a jelly roll rug. I have um, this uh, uh, in, what is it called again? Oh my goodness. Um, I have batting that fills furniture. I have lots of extra leftover furniture batting. So I was just going to cut that into strips because it's really thick and pliable. And I was going to make jelly roll rug for our living room with two jelly rolls instead of one. How do you keep them getting pickled up? I'm just, I pick it up a little bit. It's all on my lap. I'm like sweating under here. <laughs> it's all on my lap. Linda says, you must be feeling good right now. You've been so happy and giddy tonight. The best I'm, ever. I'm because I'm sewing. I'm just happy. Plus it, it really, really, it really is helping me that Scott is in here <laughs> reading the comments so that I can do my thing and let it flow oh, while I'm being here help you be happy again. really oh 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 oh, oh. you're weirdo <laughs> of course why else would you have married me <laughs> no I uh I I feel okay I'm I'm not really from here down does not feel okay I'm just saying but I'm doing it I'm doing it my my one foot is completely dead. Both butt cheeks feel like they're on fire. <laughs> I really need a, a pad on my seat of some sort. There is no back support on this chair. That's why. June's happy to see that you're so happy. But I'm... You guys know this. I'm a happy-go-lucky, bubbly person. I'm... You know, I'm just me. So that's me being me. <laughs> Tammy says laughter she would, is the best medicine. Tammy says she would love if you showed them how to do a jelly roll rug. She really wants to make one. Yeah, I got all the stuff, and then I bought the. Then Scott got me these, and that's what it was supposed to be. Because I really didn't. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I have not really one for these jet. Okay, obviously every woman loves gems, diamonds, rubies, stones, but on the fabric? Nothing against the designer, but it's on the fabric? I, I don't know. So we'll see. I wouldn't have chose this for myself is what I'm getting at. So we'll see what happens here. But this was going to be the jelly roll rug. But yeah, I can do that someday. Um Teresa says a jelly roll rug is a big pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, and I have that little brother, so it, it'll probably take a couple episodes of video to do it. Oh, Mary says check the bobbin. And Let's I will do. do yeah, it sounds low. It sounds like it's getting low. I can hear it. It makes a weird. It, the machine sounds different. And then a bunch of little teased us about getting around. Freaks get around. Go Scott. <laughs> I just kissed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every 
everybody needs some loving sometime. Whether you lack men, women, men or women, whatever. <laughs> because I have men here and I have women here, so yeah. Hey, I haven't heard Jim's name be said. Is Jim here? Jim, are you here? My male know. quilter. There's, there's two. I have a Daniel that comes on here too, but I don't know if they're here. Say if I you're don't here. know. Who are my them. male quilters here so Sunday today? You got 141 people on. Maybe you got one of them. Okay. Deborah says she loves seeing you smiling. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Marie says there's nothing wrong with the naughty mind. No, there's not. I always used to tell her I loved seeing her smiling too when I first met her. I said she had the most beautiful smile. I have a dorky smile. I still think it's the most beautiful smile. All these years later. Uh -huh. oh, no, nope, not yet. Almost. I don't, think, I don't think Jim's here because no. Sue Ann says Jim is so nice and Jim hasn't said anything. So I don't think he's here. Probably not. I don't have no male quilters with us today. So Scott's the only guy in the room? What? Oh gosh. This bald man is alone with all of you women? Oh no. I don't think he could keep up with all us quilters. <laughs> We'd be poking every inch of him. Funny. Well, there'd be so many chores for him, that's for sure. If all of you all if he was there. You're like, can you get this down for me? I can't reach it. <laughs> Scott's short though, you guys. He's not very tall. So but he'll he'll help out. He's the helper. Five eight, I'm taller than you. You're only five two. So <laughs> I've heard most of it on the call, but... Whew, this pile on my lap. wants to know how long we've been married, honey. We have been married for five years together for almost eight. Yep, in a few more months, it'll be eight. Yep. Together eight, at least. And then in a month after... No, two months after that, we'll be married six years. And there's the other. All right, you guys get to hear me roll another bobbin while I'm going because I don't feel like rolling a ton. I'm just going to roll one at a time so we know how many bobbins I'm going through. So this will be bobbin number three. So that's not bad for a project. Three bobbins so far. I'm trying to do it quickly like we're going fast here, as fast as I can. It doesn't take long to roll one. It doesn't look very dirty in there yet. Still looks pretty darn clean. Aunt B sewing says that she used to tell her husband that she needed a wife. That's funny. Yep. I got me lots of quilting wives. All however many hundred of you. <laughs> I just wish you guys we could all he hang out in person. That would be so awesome. Like, I don't know. Well, good on you, MB. They've been married 40 years. Wow. She says it seems like 10. <laughs> Diane says, seems like way more. Like D Diane says she's been married 30 years to get her 32. <laughs> it's weird. Like, even when you're in the beginning years, it feels like it's been forever. But when you probably get to those forever years, it's like, really? We've been married that long? I didn't think so, <laughs> you know? I don't know. That's what it feels like. Because my mom and dad, my uh, my mom and my dad, they were married for 19 years. And then they divorced when I had, well, they didn't tell me about it. But they divorced when I had my first kid. They started their divorce. By my second kid, they actually told me that they were divorcing. They didn't want to upset me. And uh, 
Yeah. It was like my whole childhood went by so quick and I'm wondering if their marriage felt that way. Like 19 years, just poof, gone. I mean, Scott and I have been married for five years and it's like, but we've been together for almost eight and it's like, where is that? But it doesn't seem that long because it's only been five years. It's weird. I guess it's a weird feeling to think that many years can go by. So after 40 years for you guys that are 40s and so on and so forth and 30s and 50s, that's a long time. A very long time. So especially to get along with the same person every day and see the same face every day. I get to see more than one face though. I got Juki <laughs> and I got my other husband. That I can't use right now, but I even got a brother. That sounds gross. I got brother over there. <laughs> so dumb. You're getting weird now, honey. Hold on, ladies, you're doing good. We got 31 years and 43 years and That's 23 a long time. years and 45 years and a 56 year one year. Suzanne's got 56 years next month. I think she's the longest so far. Who? Suzanne, um, another lady, Sharon, has 52 years. And okay, okay, in all those years, how many children do you have in your marriage? How many, you've been married that many years. How many children do you have? How many grandchildren? Put, like, C, that means children, and then the number, and then grandchildren would be G, C, and then however many number you have. And how many of you have great grandkids? Because like one of these days I'm going to be old enough to have great grandkids. I'm wondering like how that's going to go. Am I even going to remember all their names? <laughs> MB says, I think it's because he drove a truck for 35 years. We saw him four days a month. <laughs> yeah, that's why it worked then. <laughs> Uh, for herself. She's been married 36 years, but she's getting a divorce. That's sad. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a Sarah, long time. that sucks. It is a long time. What is your question? Is something wrong? Am I dead? No. Teresa! Are we supposed to say that? Thank you! Doesn't? Teresa you know, just gave me $5. You're not supposed to give us money. You don't have to do that. You guys don't have to do that. That's awesome. Thank you, Teresa. You get thumbs up times a bazillion. That's my second ever, uh, what is it called again? There's a word for it. Super chat. Super chat. That's my second ever super chat. My first one was from my friend Rhonda. Well, so I like that one girl. Urban Hillbilly has one. Diana has two. Sharon has two kids or five grandkids. Here we go. Sue Ann Baller, 10 kids, 17 grandkids. Holy cow. And she's been married. That's the one that was 56 years of Hold marriage. on. Was that the... Is that the... Yeah, no. Hold on. Where's she at? 31 years. Wow. 31. Well, they were busy in them 31 years. Yeah. And then their kids got busy. <laughs> That's great. 25 years, three well, boys and one grandson. While you guys are telling yours and Scott's reading them off and telling I'll tell you mine. I have four kids. My first husband died. And so the three oldest ones are first husband. And then Cyrus, the fourth kid. Um, I never married his daddy, but we were together for many, many, many years. And then I had stupid marriages that don't even count in between. Uh, two of them. And they don't count though. And then I met Scott, and we've been together since. <laughs> and he took on daddyhood uh, eight years ago. We never spend any time apart, though, so ours feels longer. Yeah, we, As we one see lady, each other every only... single day. He went to Vegas, what, once and stayed gone for two days? That was when we first met. And then though. I just recently went to the Grand Canyon with CJ, and I was gone three, three, 72 full hours. So, Yeah. We've yeah. never actually been apart. Since we met, we started doing the dating care together. We've been together 24 hours a day, every day. Other than doctor's appointments or going to the gym or going for groceries. After a while, some people think you'd get tired of one another. But we have our ways of staying apart. You know, not in each other's faces, so we don't get tired of each other. 
we just I have my quilting. He has whatever he does now because he doesn't go to the gym anymore. But I mean, he does, but he doesn't doesn't, he's not a bodybuilder anymore. I got the girl. Um, he does his thing during the day. I do mine, which is like some rest, but still. <laughs> oh, and a lot of swimming pool. A lot of swimming pool. But yeah, I have four kids, and none of my kids, they are 21, 20, uh, turning 18, and turning 15, literally in the next, this month coming, J- July and August, so that it doesn't count. I'm just going to say that they're 18 and 15. Um no grandkids though and there's no plans of it either let's <laughs> hope not because there's no plans of it and I, I told them they're not allowed to make me a grandma but ter- before i turn 40 and this year is 40 so i celebrated 39 i'm not celebrating 40 <laughs> maybe i'll do a giveaway for my birthday instead <laughs> and then i do a lot of the daycare i watch the girls most of the day for the day Especially I can't chase now, after them as much anymore, sick. so they hang out with me. They play with me. I walk up and down the hallway, and I'll stand behind a door and scare them. We, I do play and interact with the kids, 100%. I just don't – I'm not the 100% follower. I can't change constantly all the, the diapers. Only one kid is in diapers anyway. I can't – because I can't keep getting up and down and all the, the things that are required. I do feeding – Scott does the getting the feeding ready, like helping make the food. But I, I do that too. Um, he just does the, the main course of everything. I'm just the, I'm the backup run to Tiffy when you want to play, you know, except my playing is on be- in the bed. And 90% of the time I'm stuck watching kids cartoons because that's what's on my TV. Kim says Tiff. I just celebrated 65. You can do 40. Yeah. I, I don't want to celebrate the birthday, but I'm saying, you know, I don't want to celebrate. I don't want to do anything for my birthday. I did the whole thing for my birthday last year for 39. I had you guys send me blocks to make me an awesome quilt that I get to, you know, be, you guys are with me at all times kind of thing. This year, though, I think I'll just do a giveaway instead of a collect. <laughs> because... Yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm almost to the end. Ah, going faster and faster. There's so much here, and I'm talking too much. We talked about doing the foster parenting in the future, Suleyan. Yeah, we were going to do foster parenting. I don't know. It, it, There's a lot of If talk. I get better, it's talk right now. I did foster parenting already. I already have adopted as well as sister, not as kid. Um, I adopted as sister because she was already a teenager, so it was legally cool to be my sister and not my my teenage kid because i was younger um that's why i have an adopted sister uh but we talked about fostering i because i've done foster care and i did a teen care program in the past um where i took in teen pregnant teen parents and helped them learn how to cook clean you know take care of their children change diapers breastfeed you name it give birth because that's the whole doula thing um i did all of that. They all lived in my home. The only thing they had to do was help me, you know, keep the house clean, do your chores, no bringing guys over, no more getting pregnant again. Although that didn't stop anything with some of them. <laughs> Cause they would just leave and go do their thing. <laughs> so I told Scott when I met him, you know, down the road that I wanted to adopt. Adopting didn't work. So we talked about fostering because we're going to have a, a nice big empty house. So, I mean, why not one or two more kids for another couple of years? You know, if they're already older, I don't mind already older kids. Says, How are you? Oh, welcome. I am racing myself <laughs> at the moment. I'm racing myself. <laughs> All right, coming up, almost there. Okay, here's an actual real question from Diane. Diane Mitchell. Tiffany, are you sewing the same direction for the quilt top, or does the direction change with each pass? I did a strip quilt top, and it was totally bowed. I was shocked. Um. Okay, to prevent that, it's hard to go the same and unsame direction. Let me explain. 
if you start by turning upside down, so when I get to this end and cut it, I'm going to flip this end up and it is sewing the opposite way because now I'm sewing this way. So when I flip it up and sew the next two set together from this cut, I will be going the opposite way. If I find the other end and start sewing the next together the opposite way, it won't. I, I got to show you. Just wait. It shouldn't bow is what I'm saying. And also, if you want to prevent bowing. Okay, so let me get to this end. We ended up with a tangle, so I'm going to push my tangle down so that I have a straight edge right here. I just kind of hold that there. We're going to cut this. All right. This is what I'm, I'm going to try to explain. It's very hard to explain things sometimes. Um, get to the end. Wow, that really like folded funky for it. Um, I don't even know why I used my knee lift. So if I take this end and put it to the other end and sew on this side, I'm going to be sewing the opposite way. So let's grab the other end. You guys need me to zoom the camera in or anything? Nope. I'm just... I'm oh. Open. Is this the other end? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to grab the other end. If we put these together, instead of, because I just sewed this way right here on this side. So these were just sewn downwards. If I put these together now and sew this way, it's going the opposite, but it's going to ruin my design. I want it on this side, I think, but I think it doesn't matter because they're all messed up. So it doesn't matter. So we can flip it, take the opposite side and start sewing down this way and change the direction or you can sew on the opposite side. So if you left, this is how you make sure I just finished right here. Let's explain it one more time. I came down this side. When I open it, grab the other end, wherever it just went, put it on. Since I just sewed this one on my right, this time we're going to flip it and start on the left. Does that make any sense? So that will keep you from bowing because you're going opposite directions. You can keep it where you're sewing on the right. It's not really that bad. If you want, you can find the center, follow this whole thing all the way down, find the center, cut that center, you know, when you get to that end and then start sewing the way you want on the right side instead, but the opposite way because you're sewing from that end that you cut. But the whole point of a jelly roll race is to cut hook them together, so cut, hook them together, so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this mess now. We are now on four going together. So this is past two, no, hold on. Past one, past two, this past three. We need to do eight passes. Oi! Shannon says, wee! Okay, so now I'm gonna line this up and go. Chris says, wow, well, Tiffany, you're so alive tonight. Party tonight in Tiffany's quilting room. Yes. Party, party, party. All right. Let's put these together. Okay. Line them up. Put them down. Back stitch. There we go. Let's race. I'm just going to hold them now, two hands, as I go, and use this side, my right hand, to keep sure, to make sure that it's aligned. And I'm just going to let it pull it through. On its own. I still have my thumb on the top, first finger, and hand. It's it's like a natural thing I do. Once you start doing it and you get used to it, it's like something that constantly, 100% comes to you every time. So it's just how I sew. One hour and 30 minutes. That's pretty sad. So, so, so. This section, you mean? From the last, or in I total? Guess. In total. I think in total. No, I, I'm like at. What's the time on this? There's no, there's I mean, time since clock. we set the stopwatch, it's an hour. Oh, an hour and 25 minutes? Every day. Yeah. Okay. Wait, the time total since you've been on? Yeah. Oh, it's way longer than that. It's three hours and 14 minutes. I've been on three hours. Well, the first hour was nothing but just chatting and sewing the pieces together after I cut them. So. Alexa sent you three messages. <laughs> 
Facebook message? Yeah, Messenger. Oh, mm -hmm. you can give me that tablet and I can do that if it's important. If she's sending me a bunch in a row, that means it's important. Oh, I don't know. I just see it on your phone. I don't know. It could give have been an hour ago. Give me that. How do I know when she sent it? I don't know, but I can fix it. Give me a second, guys. My daughter's messaging It could have me. been three hours ago, honey. It could have been. She found a photo. What time was I born? Never mind. I found the photo. Yeah, you needed to take the break to okay. do that. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like six something in the evening. My goodness. Yeah. So why didn't you just keep going? <laughs> she was an evening baby. This is going to be an ugly quilt. <laughs> well, June says can't wait to see it done. I'm sure it will be awesome. Right as you say it, it's going to be ugly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It just to me it looks like it's going to be an ugly quilt already. Quilting for the souls going to tomorrow. So I'm going to say goodnight. All right. Good night. We'll God bless see you, all. Sarah. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you all for hanging out. This is amazing. I definitely feel loved. So much love tonight. You start your time and you start sewing the sides together. That's what the rules are. That's what I did. That's what so I Teresa. did. Yeah. So that, that's what you mean. You're now on third. That's what you Oh my God. Just stay. <laughs> you see this machine? It's like slowly going away from me. I have to like hold it like right here at the top, but I can't adjust the pieces to hold the machine at the same time. And screw this again. It's really just. It's really just making a mess. And Wait, you got 91 thumbs up on your phone here. 91 thumbs up? Yeah. Wow. That means everybody hit the thumbs up. That just about. You had over 150 people at one spot. That's crazy. One point. Now you're down to 120s. That's fine. No big deal. Well, that's still a lot of people. After three hours. So I gotta think of something to talk about while I'm sewing. Um, let's ask another question. Uh, animals. Do you have a dog or do you have a cat? Or do you not have any animals? Or do you have more than one dog or more than one cat? How many animals you got? I have a kitty cat named Thumper who's somewhere around here. He's a snowshoe and he just got a haircut like a week ago. But we're gonna have to find someone to cut him for us because I can't really do it much anymore. It was really, really hard really hard and I can't wear a mask while doing it because I feel like I'm suffocating while I'm cutting him but I can't not wear a mask because then I breathe in his little dust dander and I start coughing more but yeah so do you have cats or dogs or hey do you have more than cats and dogs do you have an elephant in your backyard <laughs> do you have a camel <laughs> I'm just kidding do you have pigs do you have iguanas do you have what kind of pet do you have how about that Pet or pets, plural. So I have three cats, kitty girl, cat has one cat, two dogs, June has a dog named Daisy, Aww. Joe has a kitty. I like that name, Daisy. So I have three dogs, and three cats, and one kitten, and a bird. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of animals. Do you actually it? have a bird in the house with the cats? That's crazy. So I have three dogs, and Lisa has a dog and a cat, Sylvia, a cat named Peppy, and a golden poodle named Scruffy. <laughs> poodle named Scruffy. Interesting name for a poodle. I would have thought like a chow or something would have the name Scruffy, you know? In the suburban hillbilly, three dogs, three cats. Crazy. Slowing down Joe. <laughs> Dog named Dudley. That's cool, Joe. Ah, is it a pit? <laughs> if I had a pit bull, I would probably name my pit bull Dudley. Just because everyone don't like pit bulls and they get a bad rap, I would name my dog. Teresa's a got bad two dogs name. and a cat. And a Molly is my Alaskan husky. Ooh, those are we pretty. That's what our human. neighbor has. Our neighbor has an Alaskan husky. CJ's got a black lab. It's not really the dog. <laughs> I'm breathing in so much of this stuff. Dog named Gizmo. Oh, now I had a Gizmo, but my Gizmo was taken. I had Gizmo out on her. Uh, it was a girl named Gizmo. <laughs> she was out on her like a uh, like it was like a dog walk right at my front, like right out my front door, and uh, I put her out to go potty, 
I went potty, came back. She was nowhere to be found. Her her leash was even gone. The leash that runs along, along the chain was gone. They took that too. It wasn't broken. It was unclipped. It was there was nothing broken or yanked or pulled. It was unclipped. So somebody took her. There you go. Deborah's got one dog, two cats, twenty chickens, fifteen ducks, and sixty pigeons. Whole oh, oh you do you do uh what are they called? Uh homing pigeons. Are they homing pigeons? Like you let them out and they kind of circle around the house for a while and then they come back to their little cage. Mm-hmm. Well, they can be trained. You know that, right? Yes, I do know that. I just said I don't know. I had a neighbor when we lived in Norwalk in California who had homing pigeons. She let them out around like 3 p.m. every day. And they they would stay in the you know, sky and then they would slowly go back to the house. And, I don't know. You wouldn't see any more of them around, I don't know, 7 or 8 once the sun started setting. Nita has uh, three dogs, three cats, and uh, two cockatoos. One I used dolphin's to have one. cockatoo I, and an umbrella they cockatoo. so annoying. No, no offense. They, they're my annoying. Every morning, because the stupid cage thing was over, she wanted it left. It was a girl. I had a lot, a lot of girl animals. And she'd make these weird noises, almost like she was saying, let me out, let me out. But it was like... <laughs> Yeah. She was kind of, I don't know, annoying. Wow, I have like a bunch of same colors lining up. I don't like this. I'm getting mad now. Oh, well, it's probably going to create some weird design. June has a four-year-old cat named Charlie. He weighs 20 pounds. That's huge for a cat. Yeah, because Thumper weighs, what is he, seven, 16 or 17 last time we weighed him. No, he was 14. He was Thumper 14 didn't pounds. weigh that much. Yeah, Thumper was 14 pounds last time we weighed him. Good Me and CJ laid him. Mm-hmm. Laid him. Weighed him. It was 14. My grandma's pet, my grandma's cat, was a, I don't know what it was called. It looked like a Maine Coon, but it wasn't a Maine Coon. But it was very, very big like one and very furry and had tall ears, but it was not a Maine. It was some other kind of cat. And it was an evil cat. That cat was like, I don't know. So pounds, it had to have been. It, this thing was huge. It was bigger than my sewing machine. It was a huge cat. When my grandma died, she wanted to be buried with the cat. She wanted them to kill the cat and bury it with her, but it's illegal to do that. So the cat obviously got cremated or whatever they do with animals, but it didn't go in with her. <laughs> Nita says the umbrella cockatoo sings from My Fair Lady. Sings songs from My Fair Lady. <laughs> How funny. Man <coughs> says don't worry about the colors bunching up. It'll work out. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it'll look okay. I don't really care. I'm just having fun with the whole racing that I'm not really doing very fast. So hopefully those of you who are doing this too are caught up because this isn't going as fast as I thought I would. It's a long night tonight, guys. But I 100% want to do it all in one video. I am not taking time to stop and do another video. This is all one video this time. I'm going to go finish putting the grocery on. Alright, can you put my tablet on the cookie in the box? The thing over here for me, so yeah. I could see. Scott's gonna go. You want it in a lean or a straight? Straight. No, not that one. It goes the other one. Put it on the other one and turn it around. Okay, well that's his lean. Yeah. It... You said... Whatever. Let's go right here at the edge, so it's blocked. They're not seeing it. There we go. Okay. So Scott's leaving, guys. Well, I can come but... back. I just put the rest bit. of the groceries away. I don't put away the cold stuff. Oh, hi Trina. I never seen your name here before. Got Diane. It's all good. Tiff. Debbie Williams saying good night. Good night. Okay, sing song. I saw that. Everyone's saying good night. I have a nine-year-old cat named Charlie. Named him after my grand, after grandpa. I had a cat named Charlie. 
when I was with Justin, CJ's dad, many, many, many years ago. He wasn't our cat. He was actually Justin's mom's cat, but he lived with us because she was a trucker. Well, it, they, he comes from a family of truckers, by the way. <laughs> Everybody is on the road. So they had animals, but sometimes they couldn't go on the road with them or they left them at our house, you know. But yeah, Charlie stayed with us. He died a few years back. He was old. We're on the same property as his dad or just her. Just house set for her she has three dogs two inside cats four outside cats a pig and a bearded oh bearded dragon i love bearded dragons we had one i also had a um i forgot i don't know how to say the word for it uh, um uh, something dragon uh stars of the sea kimono dragon they get really big the size of some of them can get the size of an alligator or was it crocodile? I don't know. But the kimono dragon gets really, 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 really big. And you feed him live mice. <laughs> yeah. He got so big, he overgrew his cage, and I couldn't take care of him anymore. And then my neighbor, he raised um, baby rabbits. And we took over that because they wanted to move. So we took over the rabbits to feed the um, kimono, the rabbits. And he had no name, by the way. We fed him rabbit, little newborn rabbits from breeding because rabbits breed like crazy and he um he got too big for his cage because all the feeding from little mice to medium mice to big mice and then went to little rats big rats big it kept going until we got to rabbits and um he was so big he couldn't be kept in the house it was too hot out to, to keep him outside so we had to get rid of him uh moral of the story is all of um like lizards like cool awesome lizards especially the ones that get big bearded dragons are cool really really cool though i had one didn't have a name though i didn't really name those pets my bird was just bird shut up bird <laughs> because i don't know i never named them he'll be back guys he'll be back is a black and white border collie. Anna is a chocolate lab, and Frank the cat is black and white and sixteen. Year Whoa, sixteen year old, dang. Cats live long time though. My grandma's cat was like twenty three or something like that. Human. She got that thing when I was before I moved in with her when I was a teenager, and it died as I was an adult. It got put down. It probably would have lived longer because um, nobody wanted it. It was and yeah, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it would have probably lived forever. Cats live forever, well, way longer than dogs do. Next question. How many sewing machines do you have and which ones do you like the best? Well, are we asking it for everybody playing this game, Teresa? Okay, we'll start with me and everybody can start just putting in their answers. So Teresa's question is, how many sewing machines do you have and which one do you like the best? I have three sewing machines, but one is technically a long arm, so it doesn't count. And technically I have four sewing machines if you still consider the long arm because I do have a broke down brother in the garage uh, my favorite though is this the Juki uh, for piecing at least my second favorite obviously is the long arm but it's not considered a sewing machine it's a quilting machine so I guess that doesn't count but my long arm for those that are new and don't know that I have a long arm it is a King Quilter 2 Elite Special Edition it is an 18 inch throat and it is a very nice machine. Stitches beautifully. I do all the work. I don't have anyone do it for me. Oh my God, you found my Tulla paper? <gasps> Scott found my Tulla paper, guys, and he bought two packages. All this Tulla paper stuff finally coming back into stock. I can yep. wipe my butt with peace. <laughs> and it feels amazing with no dust and powder. <laughs> leftovers from some toilet papers. 
sorry, I had to add that because we bought me toilet paper and you just showed me. <laughs> I'm a picky toilet paper person, by the way. And coronavirus hit and it made it really hard to be a picky, a picky person with toilet paper. All right, so I'm, look at this. I had no tangle this time. That worked out great. So I'm gonna come almost to the edge, like literally. I'm gonna let it adjust the fabric before I cut. I'm gonna stop it right here before the edge so my scissors can fit in there. And I'm gonna back stitch, cut it. Oops. Watch this. I'm gonna stick my scissors in before I cut the whole thing. I back stitch so there's nothing gonna come apart. And I am now gonna cut this edge. And it's already sewn to the edge and it's folded in half and works out great. So now we have eight. So now let's make 16. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fold, I'm gonna hold this in my neck right here. I know you guys can see. I'm literally gonna open this up and we're gonna erase the rest of this by pre-opening all this onto my lap like this. No pressing needed, guys. This is not a press. If you want to press, you can in between all these. I see no point in it. I'm just opening it up like so. And again, if you want to change directions, you can sew on the right or you can sew towards the left. I think this time I'm going to sew on the right. I'm going to look at my... Yeah, Linda has 15 sewing machines. What? What? How? Where, where do you keep them? Who uses them? Good lord. Her Sorry, nothing against it. <laughs> Juki 1181N Industrial. Oh, see, now, see, that you're talking, that's what I want. I want an industrial. But it's not going to be for a long time. Holy I spent cow. too much money on the long arm. <laughs> I spent too much money on the long arm. I have to wait. I already told you guys. I admitted it a long time ago. I'm at like $10,000 with that thing. <sighs> and it's got to be paid off somehow. So oops. that's wonderful. And all that pulling back, I knocked my thread out. See if I can get it in the hole. See, I can't never get it in the hole. So my personal <laughs> problem. <laughs> Let's poke it with something else. Run it through. I'm starting to get that, like, super exhausted, and I'm getting silly because I'm super exhausted. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, you want to take a break? You can no. take a break and do the rest later. We can no, start no, I am 100% going all the way, baby. Okay. We are going all the way. There is no stopping this. Well, it's 840. I do not five, care. Honey. We are doing the whole thing. I do not care. Therese has four sewing machines? Wow. All right, next question, even though you're still answering Teresa's question, which I said it out loud. Who has a long arm? And who wishes they had a long arm? <laughs> who is interested in long arm quilting? Or, okay, who has a long arm? And if you don't, are you interested in one? And if you're interested in one or not, do you prefer someone to quilt for you? Are you just a top piecer or... I guess that's the word. Do you just like piecing the top and someone else do the rest of the work? Like Aunt B already said she's dying for a long time. Because so long arm counts as a machine, obviously. So we have one. BJ wants a gamble. Yeah, Nina that was wishes she had wish. one. That was the wish I wanted. She wants one, but has no place to put it. Swin long arms for public. Yeah, long arms what? For public. Okay. For the public. That's good. That's what Tiffy would like to do, get people to pay her to long arm. I would like more people to come. I just don't have a, a big clientele right right now. <laughs> you guys a mid arm Viking. So sit down or is it stand up frame, June? Is that, you said June, right? Yes, June. Okay. Sometimes I can't hear you when you're when I'm sorry. sorry. Pamela was a hand quilter. 
Well, I'm going to be doing that soon, too, when I get to that point with my hand sewing project. It's getting big stitch quilted by hand because I am fascinated with big stitch quilting. I love the look of it. Maybe that's why when I long arm, I stitch with like 12 inches, 12 stitches per inch. Why Maybe. I, know why I said 12 inches. 12 stitches per inch. I like I, I, mean, I like the look of 10 to 12 in, it, stitches per inch. It, it it separates like it. I don't know. It looks more hand quilted to me. I don't know. But when I'm quilting little stuff, I do have to up the number to like 15, 16 stitches per inch. Cindy calls hers on a domestic, on my domestic. Can't afford a lot That's what I used to do, obviously, but then I put this on a frame and this does not. I'm going to tell you right now, personal experience, and I've said this in many videos, do not put the Juki TL 2010Q or any Juki TL series or nine inch throat anything, do not put these on a grace frame or any long arm frame, any metal frame with a tray that you move this machine around. It is not meant for that. It screws up the whole entire time. I have so many people that have told me that they are glad that I said that because somebody had da 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 and that it was ruined the whole time or how do I fix this and you've had the problem before and I don't know how to say it anymore because I chose not to do it anymore. So I sold the frame, I'm never doing that again. I just, if I sit down in free motion, it's just because I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I don't do it because I want to. I do it because I do it for you. Because I know how. I think once you can long arm or once you can sit, once you can long arm, you can free motion quilt sitting down. Once you can free motion quilt sitting down, you can long arm. So if you're able to do both of those, then obviously you can do them both. Once you start the next thing, if you want to do it. Oh, my timer is up. <laughs> so that's giving me two hours now of constantly sewing. So I knew this was going to take two hours or more. So we're going on the third hour. Yep. Okay, I got to like speed up and stop talking. I'm almost done though. I'm not going to add a border or anything while you guys are live. It's just going to stop here. I have to choose something. See if I have any fabric that goes with gems and diamonds and rubies and whatever all this is. It reminds me, like I said, of brooches, the things that people wear. Nobody, some people don't know what a brooch is. I, my kids didn't know what a brooch was. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Yeah. Well, I asked, I think it was Maxine if she wanted one. I have one. I have a couple in the cupboard, you know? I have one that has a little dragon on it. Yeah. Yeah. She, no, no. What is a, what is a bro? What's the purpose of wearing it? It's like it just decorates next to your shoulder. It's to get people to want to look at your face if, if it's near your face. So they stop staring at women's boobs. Mm. <laughs> That's all men do. Well, not really, but, you know, it, it brings the, the focus up this way if you wear a brooch. I don't know why it, it started probably early before. You know us so well. Huh? Yep. <laughs> but yeah, that's what these look like. Okay, so I'm up. <coughs> I inhaled. <coughs> I inhaled the dander from the. I'm gonna burp real. Pretend you don't see me. You okay? I inhaled a thingy. Are you okay? Are you okay? <coughs> yeah. You wanna take a break? Nope. Okay. <coughs> I just need to cough it back up. <clears throat> I didn't want them to see tears running down my eyes. <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. Just beware with your jelly rolls. <laughs> you can get a lot of stuff off of that, huh? Sure I will like show you what I look like on my lap 
when I'm finished. It looks like it's covered. We're almost done with this pass and then we have to go again. And we will get this done. Okay, so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna backstitch right before the edge. But not at the edge. I wanna leave enough room for my scissors to get in there. I... <sighs> is that white cone thread from Hobby Lobby, Tiff? Yes. I found that it sheds a lot for me. It wasn't happy. Yeah, with it. I don't. I don't have no other choice though because I can't get the big cones. I can't afford to use my glide and all that other stuff in here. And I have tons and tons of cotton thread, but it makes such a mess. And this one isn't as bad as some of the rest. And sorry, I my needle went down and it closed where I wanted to cut. So now I'm going to try to cut left-handed. <laughs> well, little DB crosses. They've done that so many times. And he only <sighs> it's still there, I think. This is not as bad. It's like the water helped it sit a different way or something. But it's still there. Do you need more water? No, I'm good. You want to take a break? <laughs> I'm not taking a break. Okay. All right. Okay. So next, <clears throat> I'm holding it up to my neck. Pulling all this shit stuff, fabric. Do you want me to help you? Down to my lap, opening it up the whole entire way. Okay. Opening it up, opening it up. This should be the last. No, I think this should be the last. I don't know how many times I've gone so far. But this time, I think I'm going to sew on the other side. Why? Because I'm going to sew on the opposite one. So I'm going to turn this around like this. Just so that you guys can see, we're flipping it around. Flip the whole thing around on my lap. It's nice and flat. I'm going to sew this side this time. <clears throat> Just don't breathe while you're moving it around, I guess. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's just do this again. So it says, signature thread is not badly priced and no shedding. Order online. Signature. I order from Superior sometimes, but right now we're kind of... I already told you guys a couple Sundays ago my problem with Social Security and stuff. Um, we're on a very tight, tight, tight budget right now because of all my issues with finances. Anyway, before the finances problem, I ordered from Superior Threads a few times and a couple other thread companies. And <clears throat> I don't know. I just get the cones I get because it's right here. If When I have to order, I'm like, oh, shit. I can't tell online what color it is. That's the problem. And I just use white, black, and gray mainly. So white mostly. So I just go to Joanne or not but Joanne's too when we go there. But Hobby Lobby and grab these. They're called, co I forgot what they're called, cotton something or other. <laughs> There's the name for it. Diane says, Nope. Um, Christine says, Chocolate will help you cough. Tiff, chocolate makes everything better. Yeah, chocolate will make my belly turn into. Because I'm lactose intolerant. I have to have dark chocolate. Not milk chocolate. I'll be fine. Don't worry, guys. It's just. I don't know if it came in a. I or if it's just one singular dumb little piece sitting in the back of my throat. June uses this signature thread too. She likes it. It's all she can use on her mid arm, she says. Well, my long arm likes glide, but I also have like five different other brands out there. And then there's also a cotton brand at Walmart. Um, it's a small spool. It's like, I don't think it's even a thousand yards. I don't even remember the name. But it's cotton. This machine runs it, and it runs it nicely, and it quilts nicely too when I free motion quilt. But um, well, so it's, gonna you some it's almost it's right almost there. six dollars for a spool now. I don't know why the price because of all the mask making. The price of thread has gone sky high. So I don't even. I have enough right now to last me. But when when I need thread again, I'm just hoping that it's not 
It's like they doubled the price of everything, especially online. I don't know why. Well, Saran's going to send you some. You have to PM on your address then, right? My address is in the description of every single one of my videos. It's You hit the little description thing, go down, my address is right there. If anybody wants to send me anything, I, I don't really care if anyone sends me anything. I actually love when people send me things. I love happy mail, and I especially love postcards. I've told you guys this million times. I got postcards from, you know, around the... Uh, I got Australian postcards. I got London postcards. Shut I got Paris so postcards. Um, I got yeah. Sydney, Australia postcards. My, my postcards go right here. Those are my postcards. I'm sewing those. Scott can put the camera back in a second. I like postcards. I'll put it back. You're not sewing yet. You've been sewing for three hours and 45 minutes. Even they if they're the not from out of the country. I love my postcards. Like if you went somewhere and got a postcard and sent it to me, like say you went to Missouri Star Cult Company and you want to tease me, <laughs> send me a postcard because you were there. You get where I'm going here? I like postcards. <laughs> I don't know why I do. For some strange reason, it makes me feel closer to you, I guess, the, the ones that send me it. And when your nice little sweet notes that you can put on it, because you can only write so much, but it always sounds like this amazing amount of stuff all in like five sentences, you know, on a postcard. It's crazy. And it makes me wish that someday I can go to these places. Someday. As soon as I'm finished with this pass, I'm going to have Scott hold it up over there behind the camera real quick okay. so that I can stretch my bum. I'm going to have him hold it up and see if I need to go again because for some strange reason, it seems like the right size already. But I might, I don't know. We'll see. It's starting to seem like it's about the size I want. I don't know if anybody was counting my passes. Well, that sounds cool, Nita. I think you should send her one. All right. Nita paints the postcards she sends watercolor. Paint postcards? Yes, oh, watercolor. that's awesome. That might... Yes, I said she should send Alexa you one. Alexa used to do postcards, not postcards, paintings in um, watercolor. And she also used to do chalk. She also used to do everything, but now she doesn't anymore. All right, I'm going to crease this now. I come to the edge. And I'm going to, like, literally just backstitch, like... Not for my scissors. Let's hope my needle don't stop in the down position this time. There we go. Slide my scissors in that little hole and cut across. This time I creased it with my finger a lot better. So my cut should start being a little bit more straighter. And I'm going to hold it like this. And then I'll adjust myself. I'm going to stretch my bum. You guys are going to see when I stand up, I am literally covered in pinked edges i really really honestly i know that they say it shreds more but i think pinked edges makes more of a mess than the shredding itself from non-pinked edges strips from certain companies <clears throat> honestly i think they should just do away with the pinking and just send to you know make jelly rolls of two and a half inch strips can you hold this up like from this way to where the strips are going this way so right what you mean. yes yeah i just want to see real quick how far I am. So you want me to pull it up like this? Yeah. Because it might need one for more. You for you? I the think camera. it's no for you back there, oh. so I could see. Oh. I need to I just stretch my butt. No, I need. I think I need to go one more. Yeah, one more. No. Okay. I'll be back. Just come over here and look at it and see. Go to the other end. You're only going to be off camera for a second. That's really twin size in length. Like if the jelly roll wanted to run in length, but we're trying to make it go downward this way. So it's one more pass. Let's see how long it would be if one more pass. Let's put it in half. Sorry, guys. I'm out of the screen for a second. Hold that half. I'm holding. That's I'm holding. That's not very wide. Okay, I'm holding. Then the length is going to be too long. All right, guys. I've come to a decision. It's a really tall person. I think I'm... I don't want to cut it in half. Okay, so we're going to turn the camera. I'm going to show you what we're doing here. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Sorry, guys. 
We're going to come over here. So if I go one more, just leave it in half real quick. Leave it in half oh, real quick. Sorry, half sorry, half sorry. If I went one more pass, what's going to happen? I'm going to show you this now because this is a double jelly roll race. If I go one more pass, we're holding it in half. This is how wide it will be. Can you see that? Obviously, I can't tell how close we are to the camera. It'll be this wide, but the length is going to be double now. So this and this. It'll be so long, it'll be annoyingly long, okay? But if I just stop now, then this is a jelly roll race that is actually going to go in this direction and be done. Still long. No, but it's it's more of a proper size. Yeah. So hold on. Oh yeah. Is there here? Let's hook it up here. Hook it up here. Hook it up here. I can do it. I got this size. Okay. Okay. I could have done it for you. Just hook it. I'm getting there. It's, I'm like in front of my long arm, so you do the rest. So I'm going to show them because I'm I'm assuming without even pressing, I'm not going to even bother pressing now. I'll press and take pictures later. That way I can be done. Where's my measuring tape? We're going to turn this alarm off. Okay. We did, I don't know if that's going to ding. Pull it, pull on it, pull on it when you do it because it's not pressed. Pull on it. Okay, what are we at? Uh, right over 66. 66. All right. 66 wide, and I haven't trimmed it. Okay, so it's 66 wide, and I'm hoping you guys can see this by leaning it against the quilt, please. Right there. Make it go all the way against it. So what is Are it? we all the way against 66 it? 66 by 102. 102. At least when we okay. pull it out, it'll be 102. It's not more. All right, guys. It's 66 by 102, and the jelly roll race is this direction. I am not going to go again the other way because it will ruin it. So this is a twin size bed. I can add borders uh, if I want wider. to to make it a little wider. Or I can leave it as is and just do a black binding all the way around so that it could be a twin size bed. I am not going to press it. There is no purpose. I'm just showing you guys. It looks kind of funky because my other husband is kind of right there <laughs> hiding behind it. So and They're saying it's pretty. It's awesome. It came out They're saying they'd stop now. just right here is a disaster. All three of those ended up together. I don't know how that happened. I think because I flipped that other way when I was trying to show you guys that you can flip. But You're saying you might add a border. That, that and that. See, and if I add a border, then it's like a twin long, you know? Yeah, but I can add... I can add jelly roll, black jelly roll strips just to the sides only and be completely done, so... All right, guys, I'm going to come in front of the camera, stand in front of the camera. Oh, you got that going? So this took all. me exactly, what does my comment say? Why is it still dinging? I don't know why it's still dinging. What's the problem? I don't know either. All right. It's, um. Here, here's your comment. Um, okay, so do you see that, guys? I'm standing right in front of you. You should be able to see. Like, it even got up here, and this is probably how I breathed it in. So, I definitely need... It's all the way down. Oh, my God. It goes all the way to my ankles. It's covering me. So, jelly rolls suck when they have pinked edges. It is the biggest mess ever, guys. So, two hours I made this, but in a total of... Hold on a second. I'll tell you right now. The video total is three hours, 53 minutes... And 41 seconds. So we'll end this exactly at four hours. So read comments for a few minutes. If anybody has any questions, I'm again, I'm not pressing this. This is, is going to stay just like this. Oh, that's why it, that's up. There we go. It lets down just a little bit more. So what was it again? 60? 66 by 102. Yep, 66 102. So it's a twin long as is. Which is actually really, really good for a double jelly roll. Just putting the two jelly rolls together. I think it looks cool. I think an all over like diamondy type quilting will probably make it look cooler. <laughs> Alright, what are the comments? Get long rollers. Black would be perfect. Looks good. Really pretty. Really like it. Looks good to if me. If I looks go great, wider, beautiful. it would be queen. 
Reminds me of aspen trees. It looks like, I don't know. I'd add a border. Looks good. Perfect twin. Looks good. Love it. If I put borders on the sides only, guys, it'll make it a queen because anything over 90 inches is queen size for length. <laughs> Christine says, personally, I can't stand the jelly roll race quilt. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't really. This does. I like them other ones, but this one, I don't know. Bergie says, you're so organized. Great job. <laughs> this one is a, a little Bergie, on Bergie. The, Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. It's on, on a different side. Diane says, oh, that is straight, LOL, well done. Looks neat, nice, looks good, awesome. Here, we'll do some close-up camera action so that you guys can see the fabrics. I have to disconnect something. All right, let's go. Close-up action. Oh, lint rollers, that's what they mean. Yeah, I have a lint Fun thing. Rollers, or get rollers. So these are the fabrics that are all stuck together and nothing's been pressed and surprisingly see how those points are just so pointy they look so good i mean it's like a jumbled mess Lots of, of fun There's <laughs> things for joining. it's like a jumbled mess here guys i like the green peeking throughout i don't like that there was only that much yellow like the yellow strip could <laughs> Yeah, the yellow is kind of... Uh, I do like these, though. They look like candies from afar. These ones right here that my toes are pointing at. From here, they look like candies. But... MP loves a long twin because you can tuck under the pillow. Yep. So, see, there you go. All right. Let me put you guys up here again. All right. So tonight, Scott and I, like always, will be doing our movie... I'm going to give you guys a few more minutes on here. We're at 56. What are the comments? Now you guys say hi. hi. T is on. Oh, hi. hey, T. Double jelly roll quilt. <laughs> race. My double jelly roll race. I know you guys say it's pretty and all, but it's the fabrics. I don't like the line. Nothing against the designer. It's just not my thing. So This will be something that I quilt and do something with. I don't know. So, anyways, let's get to some quick talking, chatting real quick. Remember, we need to get me to 2,000 subscribers, guys, because uh, I really would like to get to 2,000 subscribers or more just because, well, this is, it's like I feel like I'm stuck in some kind of thing. I was going good, and then it just slowed down again. Get me out of my rut, guys. Let's get to 2,000. Let's do a giveaway. One of the things that's going to be in the giveaway when I get to 2000, this is your sneak peek is this little baby quilt that I did in a video. It's just, it's a, I had, I did this video as a no binding, I think is what it was called. I did the piecing, like piecing all the pieces as a, what can I do with the scraps as a video? And then I did the no binding as a video. So there's no binding. It has dinosaurs on the back. It is only stitched in the ditch, but it is very fluffy and so soft and cuddly. And I like literally look soft and cuddly. You know, they're cuddly when they go like this and they're not stiff. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that'll be one. The other ones are a secret. I cannot tell you, but there'll be a bunch of prizes to win. Congratulations to the three winners today of the three embroidery things. Since I didn't have an embroidery no, thing. Imagine. Do not forget, please, if you won for those embroidery giveaways today, Send me an email in the description below is my email. I will even show you guys how to do that. Take yourself out of the chat. See this little, we're going to push on this little arrow. It's going to have information under here. Here's my email address, Tiffany underscore Groff underscore quilting underscore designs at yahoo.com. I know it's a lot, but whatever. And then if you want to join the group, the Facebook group is directly, directly below. If you want to join Instagram, it's below that follow my facebook page that's my business page if you guys want long arm quilting or want to buy a quilt from me i have a gofundme tip jar nobody ever uses that if you want to you can no Here's big deal um my etsy shop is empty don't even bother with that anymore i'll fix that someday um and then i like happy mail so my address is always at the bottom of every single video don't forget that. It's this little button right there. You go up, you go down. It lets you know, and then and go back to chat. So Instead of your Etsy shop, tell them your quilt. Yeah, um, I have the video. I still have plenty of quilts for sale. There is one being added. I have to kind of re-edit a video and add a 
quilts to it if it's going to be hard to do, but I'm going to do it. She's sold a lot, but there's still over yeah, half of them. There's still, still a, a lot for sale. So I'm going to be done now. It's been four hours of a So Sunday. This is the first So Sunday I spent a lot of time with you guys. And a lot of you were here. I am so happy that you guys came and hung out. Don't forget. Okay, hold on. I forget. Stars is subscribe. Oh, front camera is this way. Subscribe. Yeah. Front camera is dragon tattoo. So subscribe down there. Which way? I don't know. And I thank you guys and love you guys. Thank you guys and love you guys so much. So let's get me to 2000 so we can do a giveaway. Even though I did one today for no reason. Just did it because I wanted to because I love you all. <laughs> this is my dumb quilt. Oh, well, I did it. Double jelly roll race. Complete. Share your pictures if you did it in the group. Bye, guys. Love you all. Oh, my God. I lost my camera thing anyway. Okay, you guys are going to have to wait a few minutes anyway because... Um, be done. All right, guys, that's it. Bye-bye.